All right. Well, <clears throat> we're here. <laughs> I don't know if the stream's buffering like crazy or what, but we're gonna we're gonna press on because it's all we can do. How's everyone doing? What's going on? Yeah, it's buffering like crazy already. This is this feels pointless. <laughs> Dropping ninety percent of frames. Oh. Is this any better? Let's see. Nope. Uh, yeah, maybe we're maybe we're not streaming today. Maybe we're just not streaming today. Nope. Uh, okay. Um, this is frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating. Stream on daily mode. You keep saying that. That's the joke. Um, the screen is lagging. Thank you for the, thank you for the heads up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kenito's killing me. I can't think of anything else I could do to fix this. Yeah, all right. Can I lower the output speed? Okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm literally just going to drive over to my ISP and yell at them. After this. Uh, doesn't feel like this is going to work. Freaking pointless, man. I'm so frustrated. I've changed like every setting I could possibly change, hoping to improve this. I'm streaming at like the tiniest, <laughs> the tiniest resolution and frame rate I possibly can. I'm sending barely, barely any bits to YouTube whatsoever. I'm streaming at like one megabit up literally i'm sending the tiniest crappiest stream i can possibly send i've restarted the broadcast like eight times oxica okay is it like actually kind of working now it feels like it might be let's not jinx it let's hold tight for a second see if it hangs out are we good you can understand me that's good that's good. I, I could I could see the screen, the the stream itself is probably not great, is it? All right, all right. It seems like we we cracked the cracked the code. <laughs> oh, it's dropping again. All right. It seems like it's holding steady for now. Fingers crossed. We could just continue going at that. Right? It looks fine. That's insane because I'm pushing like a potato of information through right now. So that's good. <laughs> You're supposed I'm supposed to be streaming with like eight to ten megabits up right now, and I'm streaming with one up right now. So yeah. It's working. Um yeah, I'm getting a warning message from YouTube like, hey, we recommend we recommend you stream with at least sixty eight hundred kilobits. You're using one right now. <laughs> okay well we're here we're here um i'm gonna we're gonna hang tight for a minute before i ping the discord just in case just in case it totally train wrecks but let's uh let's catch up a little bit so we are we're working on a music video for the canito pet song um everlasting fun how is everyone doing thank you for hanging out through that man train wreck of an introduction 
Uh, yesterday we did a lot of like sketching concepts in After Effects and A Sprite. Uh, by the way, we, I should point out the music video is doing ridiculous numbers, like crazy, crazy numbers. Check this out. Aside from how I'm, aside from what just happened, I'm doing good. Aside from what just happened, yes. Aside from that nonsense, uh, because this song is is doing friggin' numbers. I was showing, uh, I was showing already. Here we go. Here's the behind the scenes. So here's how it's doing so far. We we're we're coming up on like 120k, which is nice. And um, what I really enjoy looking at is how this video compares to other videos in their first amount of time. So for example, here it is against uh are you listening? Oh, oh hang hey, on. Hello there, thanks for <laughs> it starts playing it in the background when you're watching a video. Okay. So here it is. Here's are you listening in the uh I think purple. And then here's the uh, here's Kanito Pet. And you can see where it overtook it yesterday, which is nice. And then it's really coming up on Show That Never Ends, uh, the music video, the animated one. It's like approaching very steadily and might overtake it like sometime tomorrow, which is crazy. It's not a 1 out of 10 just yet. It's a 2 out of 10. It started, no joke, as a 7 out of 10. And I was like, all right, whatever. That did fine. And then it just like clawed its way up the ranks. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, there is a um, there's a number that YouTube shows you that is how it ranks in your last 10. Um, it shows it on your dashboard, but mostly on mobile. And like a one out of 10 means it's the best out of your last 10 videos, and a 10 out of 10 means it's the worst out of your last 10 videos. Uh, so this was this started as a six out of 10, and it's climbed all the way to a two out of 10, which is nice. What did I use for the intro of Running Away From Me? What do you mean? Uh, like musically? It was uh, uh, Yamaha DX7, I think played most of the sounds on that. And then the ba -da 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 -ba 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 -ba, that was uh, a vocal sample of mine. You can actually watch me make the whole thing on the stream for that. How is the Angel Dust song going? It came out. Uh, oh, like how is it? How is it doing? It's going really well. It just crossed 100k, I think. Um, and then it like it like topped out here. It was getting a crazy amount of traffic from Google search, weirdly, and then like died out. Uh, but it's it's doing good. It still it still gets. Uh, Still gets a good thousand views daily. <laughs> it's doing okay. You know how it goes. Okay. It's above play with me. It's above play with me in terms of daily plays. Um, so this is like plays over the last 28 days. Uh, it got about as many plays as play with me. And Kenito Pet got more plays than play with me in the last 28 days. But this is to be expected because it's a newer song. Uh, what's cool though is seeing like something like Mob Vote outperforming play with me or fatal error code red like this is good to see my newer songs ahead because that means i'm i'm trending upward if you continue uploading things you're passionate about will you eventually get more attention fury grtx like yes if they're good and that is a a hard truth like it has to also be really freaking good that is a an honest truth of creating anything is it has to be really damn good in addition to also lining up with what people actually want to watch at this moment and for it to be sustainable you also have to enjoy it so those are the three tenets i've talked about it has to be really really good people have to want to watch it and you have to enjoy it if you can find the overlap of those three things that's it and yeah casanova is still hanging around <laughs> it's right here it's my only Fr uh, friday night funkin song that still gets a lot of views is ambition good to have of course okay so i uh i made a breakthrough and I discovered something incredibly helpful. Let me just pull it up one second. We're gonna we're gonna redo all the assets we made yesterday because um, it's going to work a lot better. I'll show you why. Because I found a new toy to play with. And it is called 98.css. Uh, it's a CSS library. It's a like HTML style library. Yo, PowerFresh, thank you so much. 
Kanito would fit. Yeah, yeah. Kanito would absolutely fit into Amazing Digital Circus. They're both like, I'm I'm tending to call it digital horror rather than analog horror. Like analog horror, I feel like deals in cassette tapes and analog medium, right? Um, the the distortion that comes with that. But digital horror is that like late '90s, early 2000s, uh, Windows 98, early digital camcorders, like that kind of vibe. Um, this is called 98.css. If you just search that, um, you'll find uh, you do have to understand like HTML code in order to do it. So this made this. And this is actually like a live piece of HTML. Like I could type in here and everything. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, we are we are going to be coding our forms and our windows and everything in HTML and then screen capping them and pulling them into After Effects from there. That's gonna be our process for the day. Yes, we should ping the Discord now as it seems uh, like we're going to survive the stream. <laughs> now that now that it seems to be functioning, I will ping the Discord. Thank you, Manny. No, I have not sent many of the Rukon VODs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peridot. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a whole guide you can follow. And in fact, um, I'm going to pull that up right now. Here that is. This is the guide. And you can see all the different components you're able to make. And these are all real clickable buttons. It's insane. Uh, and it shows you the code for them specifically. So we're going to be making use of this a lot. This is incredibly helpful. Uh, let me close the billion apps I have open that I do not need to have open at the moment. Okay, cool. Rids official, what's up? Hey Stardust, you're looking at um you're looking at 98.css, which is the platform we're using to design all our Windows 98 uh, dialog boxes for this. Hey, thanks, Rids Official. I'm glad you like them. That's not really what I do anymore, but I'm glad you like those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's our storyboard as well. I technically have two different Chromes open um, because 98.cs, or yeah, I have a live preview. Yeah, see, I have two Chromes. Um, here we go. So this is actually a live preview. I can change these. So we're going to be coding this like live on screen, which is really cool. Is this something anyone can use? Yeah, just search 98.css. Um, actually you can literally just like link the style sheet from any HTML file and, uh, and then just start coding it in and it'll be live, which is awesome. So yeah, we're going to redo a lot of the things we did yesterday. Now that we, uh, now that we have this asset, because I think it looks a lot better than the ones we were hacking together in a sprite. Um, so we're going to, we're going to recode that this goofy, <laughs> Goofy thing we made. I still like the... Let's see. I still like this one. Uh, I may just remake the dialogue box. Friendly reminder. Okay. So let's make that real quick. I'll show you how this goes together. Um, first we need... Uh, I'm going to hide this for now. We'll just comment this out. And we're going to say window. This is title bar, I think. And window body. And then in the title bar, we're going to put some title bar text. Is that the name? Yeah. And this text is going to be friendly reminder. And the length of the window, let's see how big do we want this to be? Um, let's see, this is 1300 pixels. Oh, wait, let's go to actual 100% size. Okay. 
1300 pixels through 15, so it's about, uh, let's say 200 pixels wide. Um, style equals width, say 250 pixels. Not this one. This one, please. Okay. Yeah, 250 pixels, 260, 280. And height is 400 pixels. No, that's way too much. 200 pixels. Yeah, it feels pretty good. What's my opinion on Loser Baby? It's a good song. Seems like a good song. I like it. Okay, and then all we have to do is screen cap this. Pull it into a sprite. And we're just going to crop it down. What's up, Space Dust? Yeah, I liked Loser Baby. That was a good song. Is every pixel on this twice as big? It is. Okay, so that means something else we have to do is, I think, resize this. Uh, can I do sprite size? Yeah. Lock ratio, and we'll um, reduce this to 206. Oh, 50%. Yeah, I could just do that. There we go. Now this is an actual pixel perfect um, image. And I think this should work. We're, we're kind of learning the process right now. Cannot save in that location. Hey, why not? Okay. Okay, good. That's a great size on screen. And I think that looks a lot better than the other one. It looks very good. Okay, awesome. Good, so now we have a process. Spider Girl by Shadro. I, I don't know if I've heard that. I like Shadro. We were on a song together a while ago, I think. We are on a FNAF song. Did I design the pic in my profile picture? I did. I did. I drew that in Adobe Illustrator like, I don't know, 10 years ago, <laughs> 15 years ago, long time ago, long, long time ago. Yes, we have the gradient now uh, and we can we can change up how this looks too. like we can access the CSS for this. You should make the handles on the clock move on. B. I did. I did. Actually, if you watch. Uh, they don't move on beat. They move with a second, which is how clocks work. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, the other thing I want to show you is we have the official Kinito model. I found it. It's in the Kinito Pet Discord. Uh, and I spent the morning rigging him up. So now he can look around at things. His eyes can move independently of his head. Uh, he was just like a, a model that didn't move or anything, and I added all these bones and everything. So now he moves around. Uh, so I can still animate him like I did the one I made, but this one's like actually the one from the game. Uh, I added also little eyelid controls. We can open and close those. And then he has like mostly posable hands. Um, There, we don't need to do much with those, but like, we got it. It's there. <laughs> so we have that to work with now as well. This is nice. Um, I'll probably drop this in the Kinito Pet Discord if Troy's okay with it. Um, Troy, might show, Troy was here yesterday who made Kinito Pet. He might show up again today. We'll see. Yeah, so how does this look in the game? Um, Spriter's resource actually has Kinito Pet, which is immensely helpful. And I think they actually have a window reference as well. Let's see. Yeah, we have this. Cool. 
Uh, so maybe we can make it like look like this. Let's grab this color. And this color is 969370. Now what we're going to do is go to our live one. And what I'm going to do is we're going to inspect element, this guy, title bar, and here's its background color. So we're going to write a new bit of code in here that says title bar, background, and then we're going to specify our new color. Style type equals text CSS, title bar, background color, uh, or I guess just background, um, that color we just found, and we're going to specify important to say like, hey, this is a bigger deal than, uh, than your thing. Okay. And there we go. Now it's that color. Sweet. Is it still a gradient? Because it shouldn't be a gradient. It feels like there's still a gradient there, doesn't it? Or am I are my eyes deceiving me? I'm just going crazy. I'm sorry. There's no gradient. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. How did I learn to rig or model YouTube? Like, I just watched so many YouTube videos. Did I use Serum and running away from me? Uh, yeah, for a lot of things. All the synths are either Serum or uh, the Arturia DX7 emulation. Cool. Uh, this feels good. This feels good. I like it. And then I like that the rest of the text is this, like, Comic Sans looking stuff that Kenito usually does. Because his text is always like kind of comic sansy in the game, so that's good. Um, great. Al Splash, what's up? Tom Crown, <laughs> how's it going, Tom Crown? Tom Crown's a friend of mine from uh, in the YouTuber Discord we work in. Okay, so what we need to do now is a get some tunes going because I'm going crazy. There we go. Why does my Spotify look like this? My Spotify looks insane. Okay, there we go. If you're ever wondering what we're listening to, it's in the bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, it'll rotate through to that, uh, like that. And you'll see we're listening to Azalea Town, uh, Lo-Fi Remix by Factory Flora, Katie Scary. Wait, Callie, did you hit the requirements? L Splash, y'all working on anything new for doors? <laughs> Good. Okay. Why do? You oh no, never, Tom. You can always play my stuff. I have none of it in content ID for that reason. Uh, as long as I'm the primary artist on it, uh, none of. If I'm guesting on another song, sometimes some of those people have put into content ID. But as far as anything, I'm the main artist on. You can always play it. No problem. I will make a new song when Flores drops. L Splash, hit me up. Hit me up and give me some uh, some sneaky advanced access so I can write a song about it. <laughs> oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking me up. We'll be the best of friends together. Okay, we also need his surfboard, because uh, Kenito... Rides a surfboard around the screen a lot, I realized. Oh, also, I realized we don't have kinito.exe on the desktop. And here's all the actual official icons for Kinito Pet, which is good. We're going to make use of that. Yeah, he rides a surfboard around the screen all the time. Here's his surfboard. So we're going to, uh, we're going to model this real quick. Let's just save this. And pull it into Blender.
Oops. <laughs> okay, now how do you model a surfboard? Let's find out. I have a feeling it's going to start with a plane that's like this high, right? Um, and let's slice it up a little bit into pieces. It's going to come to sort of a point at the end here. Like this, and it's also going to get a little bit rounded at the back here. I think we need a little more room to round it off at the end. Oh, the real L splash? You're right, then maybe that's not the real L splash. <laughs> if you're the real L splash, send me the next build of floors. Modeler's resource might have it. Modeler, uh, maybe. Um, I mean, I'm so close to being done modeling it already. No, it doesn't look like it's on modeler's resource, at least as far as I can see. Um, but like, literally, this will be done in two seconds. So, I'm not. I'm not that concerned. And I got the official Kanito pet model, so like, I'm already way ahead of the game. <laughs> I feel good about that. Okay. So this is good. Uh, let's let's do. Uh, let's extrude a little bit. We're going to do a ring around the edge. Actually, what we're going to do is, I think, bevel the top edges a little, like this. Tom Crown, thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, Tom Crown. Everybody say thanks, Tom. You're the best, man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much, Tom. Okay, that is a surfboard. And surfboard seems to have, you can tell how much I surf, uh, it seems to have this like upward curve at the end here. So I'm just going to give myself a couple more cuts in here to be able to do this kind of whoop, this little guy. And then bring it forward a little. That feels that feels pretty surfboardy. I'm pretty happy with that. It's supposed to look a little little silly. When did my videos first get monetized? Fury G Yarks. My videos first got monetized when the partner program became a thing. I am old. <laughs> Manny, go to sleep. Get some rest. My part my videos first got monetized in like 2011. <laughs> I had videos, I, I should have been in the partner program uh, a long time ago. Okay, because of the way I topologize this, Manny's going to yell at me, um, I this won't cut properly unless... No, that sucks. Okay. Uh, oh, but what I can do, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we'll make these, what I'm trying to do is make this seam in the middle here, and I could paint it, but I, I can also just do it with material switches, and because I'm a terrible, terrible uh, substance painter. Um, yeah, it's fair. I didn't mean go to bed. I just mean if you go to bed, get, get some good rest, <laughs> if you choose to. There we go. Yosh, thank you so much for the gifts. You're amazing. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to split this in the middle. And then just to make it actually symmetrical, because I am obsessive about this stuff. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships, Yosh. Y'all are all amazing. Uh, both the Doki Doki Literature Club credits and the Kanito Pet credits song are both in the same key as Daisy Bell. Yeah, that, that is fun. <laughs> that is fun. Okay, what we're going to do now 
Now it's perfectly symmetrical. And we're going to add this stripe. So let's get our base color here. And then the center color. Oh, did the trailer drop? I haven't kept up on what Royale 5 is doing, but they seem cool. There it is. <laughs> everyone, everyone go watch the Royale 5 trailer. And if you haven't subscribed to Royale 5, go do it now. That guy seems cool. Yeah, Royal Five's dropping a cover of Bling Bang Bang Born. That's is pretty sick. Is pretty sick. Definitely, definitely highly recommend going to watch that. It's uh, it's very cool. <laughs> I don't know how I can vouch for that, but believe me, I can. What flavored cream, cream puff Caspian Drake is eating? I, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's between Caspian Drake and, and the artists, I would assume. How'd you do the original video? Exactly like that, so I'm kidding. Uh, if you watch, there's a great video on YouTube. Um, here we go. Character animation for in impatient people. If you go watch this video, uh, there's a whole bunch of animation like methods in there. And one of them is like literally what I did. Um, which is just uh, auto keyframing by dragging around the character. Where is this? Which is the most fun method in my opinion. All you have to do is press this button and now whenever you move, rotate, or scale, a keyframe will automatically be placed. And this means that you can press the space bar and move your armature to record the movement in real time. You might be watching this thinking that this feature is just a gimmick. Well, it kind of is, and I love it. It's very silly. It's a wonderful video. Okay, cool. We have a surfboard. Uh, this one edge is kind of bugging me, so we're just going to bevel that real quick. Oop. In fact, all these main... Edges get a little cleaned up. There we go. That's pretty good. Shade smooth. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Something happened there. <laughs> okay, that's better. When did I start learning Blender? Uh, before I started playing music, Cryoxis. Long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, I haven't seen the new Garfield update, but I have enjoyed, like, uh, creepy Garfield comics for a while. Like, our... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, John, the subreddit. Uh, I was on there like years ago. Dean should not be a modeler. I'm a terrible modeler, Manny can tell you. Exactly. Manny's yelling at me about my topology because it's a horrific. It's a horror show. It's terrible. It's bad, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we have we have Kenito's surfboard. That's great. Um He's going to surf around. Dean should absolutely not be a modeler. Absolutely. Okay, so what happens now? Um, on sorry for that, don't know what happened there. Sorry for that, don't know what happened there. Okay, we have a console window uh, that's going to allow all permissions. Uh, but yeah, this is a good, I like this line. Uh, console window appears. 
trying to allow all permissions. Um, player tries to stop it. So we're going to see the player's mouse move over there, but Kanito's going to hold down the mouse with his foot and it's going to like struggle around trying to reach there. Um, and then the screen breaks down as Kanito uh, leans forward. Okay, cool. So we need a, uh, a console window, which let's see how we would design that real quick. So let's see, to do this, the body would have to be um, a black background. Can that be a thing? Doesn't seem like that can be a thing. Okay. Um, let's see if 98.css has any examples for that. Okay, let's figure out how to hack this then. After Effects and Blender are both like, I have so much fun in each of them, really. Okay, your background is currently silver. Can I set it to other things? What if I set it to black? Okay, that does seem to be working. That's good. Um, why can't I set that? Window, the window background needs to be black, not the, I see. Okay, that's the real key. Perfect. All right. We've got a console window now, kind of. And let's put some text in there. Um, but we do need to make the text in this white. Or maybe like a green, maybe like a hacker terminal green. Um, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So let's see, what would this actually look like? Um, okay, so it would look like this. That's a good reference there. So it'd really just say C users, okay. See operating system 90. Okay. Oh, the copyright symbol does not <laughs> exist in this font. We'll just put C. Um, Let's just pull up, as always, our favorite reference, <laughs> Unique Geese's stream of Kanito Pet. Uh, so where does he actually pull up the command prompt? Here we go. Start booting it up now, but it will take a short while to compile all the code. Oh god, oh god, what is it doing? <laughs> okay, so it doesn't seem to say anything in this one, at least. Yeah, it seems like it has a lot more permissions than it should be able to, to be honest. <laughs> doesn't seem like it has anything there, and I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna distract from the main 
like juice of what we're trying to show. So what we might even do is um, make this part green to draw attention to it. And we can pick a lighter green than that. Um, there we go. Will I ever release my Kinito model? I'm just using the official one that's in the Kinito Pet Discord. If you look in the pinned comments, uh, or if you just search official model, um, you will find the dot blend file. I think it's pinned in the media channel in the Kinito Pet uh, Discord. Is the one in the music video custom? The one in the music video is custom, uh, and it's worse than the official one. So <laughs> this is the official one, and it's much better. The one in my music video is, is goofy and terrible. I will, I could drop it in the Discord, I guess. It is cute. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll drop it in the Discord later. <laughs> He does dance hard. Okay. Um, maybe we resize this window a little, though. Let's say it's um, 320. Whoop, not 3200. And 120 tall. That feels pretty good. Uh, game Kinito, bit crushed to hell. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's probably reduced to um, like an 8-bit color palette or 16-bit. A certain like specific restricted Windows 98 color palette because it only had access to some probably 16,000 colors as opposed to like the billions of colors we have access to now on a modern computer screen. Uh, Troy was in here yesterday talking about how he was very intentional about um, about the color palette and how limited it was he was and i i really appreciate that i was so i was very impressed with troy's work uh, i think he really really nailed it with this okay <laughs> so this is going to come in now. This is going to come in on around that. Um, I have this secret script that I use. It's called Inertial Bounce. And when you paste it in to After Effects... It does magic. Sorry for that, Whoop. <laughs> it does that, and it's adorable. Okay, um, what happened there, it's going to... Uh, let's see, we're going to put a black box over this. And it's just going to reduce in size over time. Hey, later, Yosh. Thank you again for gifting the memberships. You rock. The next feedback stream? Uh, soon, Fury. It's What I want to do is set up a voting system in the Discord so y'all can vote on the ones I should watch on stream. Because making either Tercero or I listen to like 300 plus submissions uh, is, is completely, completely unmanageable. So... I um I want to make it so y'all do the selection for me, and I just have to build a system for that on the Discord, and I have not had the time. Unhappen there is when it's going to start shrinking. And it's going to move from its center point to a point about 
75 pixels to the right and reduce in size down to nothing. So it should, yeah, there we go. It should look like it's typing once we deselect this. No, what happened there? Yeah, perfect. The only thing is I don't want it to look like a partial letter at any point, but like, it's fine. It's okay. Don't know what happened there, but I know what happened there. What happened there, but I everything is... Yeah, I agree. I agree, Manny. Um, I'm trying to think of a like procedural way to do that, and I can't think of one. Uh, what I could do, I could just manually keyframe each one, and that sucks. Um, so setting it to draft mode removed the anti-aliasing, and that's a lot better than it was. So maybe I can just fix any like half letter positioning. Um, what I can do, this is fun, I can, uh, where is it? There's a, like, make these keyframes official. Right. Perfect. Okay. Chat froze. I'll fix it. Oh, everyone go watch Callie's premiere. <laughs> There, I just reloaded chat. I'm just going to remove that because it's like, it's broken more often than it's not. Yeah, that works. The stream is dying a slow death. Good, 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 good. Love it. Love hearing that. Thank you. You've made my day better. <laughs> Can I get it as a ping file? That's a dot. That's not helpful. Um, uh, the problem with the widget is that YouTube's um, API does not update often enough. Like it is, it, that is just that. <laughs> because literally, the only thing that happens is. Um, Just want to select some text. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I should sneak Bonzi Buddy in here somehow. You're right. You're absolutely right, Tercero. How did I not think of that?
will I ever do a duet switching off with a member of the Digital Circus cast? I just, I just don't think so. I, and honestly, the more people ask me to do stuff with the original voice cast, the less I want to. <laughs> like, I get more and more annoyed every time. What's the process of uploading songs to Spotify? Uh, I just use DistroKid. I just upload them uh, about a week in advance, typically. Yeah, I mean, I did a duet with Oreo for the Pomni song. That was fun. I like working with other people. And I'm not saying I would never work with a voice actor on anything. Um, but, like, there is actually one game uh, that I, I am considering asking the voice actor to do a song on. But it's because we're already friends. Um, and it makes a lot of sense for it to be the case. Uh Whereas like getting like Michael Kovac or something like he's great. He's wonderful. But if I'm doing a song where it could be me singing instead and it would be fine to be me singing instead, I'm going to do it. You know? Make Bonzi Buddy have his own rap bit. Let me show you how to scratch it. What? <laughs> I'm not making a new song, Team 3D. <laughs> the song's already done. I have a really great dithering tool, uh, Retro Dither, and it just does not want to load in here. Um, let me just pull up this app. Yeah, this is this is a music video for that song, Team 3D. I'm seeing if I can get my dither tool to install. Uh, and in fact, I'm just going to uninstall it and reinstall the plugin. Installed in After Effects. Okay, I'm just going to close After Effects and reopen it real quick and see if this dither plugin I just installed works now because I would really like it to. What plan do I use on DistroKit? I have the medium tier, I think, whatever it is. The one that allows me to like schedule stuff out in advance. Yes, Retro Dither works now. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. We are so back. Okay, I love Retro Dither, um, assuming it works. Let's see. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I use this all over the Fatal Error music video. Um, it can do all kinds of different palettes. So, for example, you can set it to, like, exactly the Apple II palette. You can give it uh, Bayer dithering patterns, which look like this. And just looks so good, I think. It's awesome. Uh, so I might set it to like a 16 color, maybe 32 color adaptive palette. Just to give it that little bit of sauce. That's really fun. Here's the ZX Spectrum, EGA Standard. <laughs> it's really goofy. Yeah, the dithering is really nice. It um, it tends to overdo stuff. Like it shouldn't be dithering this. Like this shouldn't be dithered right now. But. We, we're going to use it to affect in some places, I think, for sure. And it's great for, like, really glitchy stuff like this. It's going to be very good for these kind of shots. So we'll have fun with that plugin. I'm glad I got that working. That's good.
good. And we might throw it on like the background a little bit. Need to adjust how you title animation streams. I see a lot of people getting confused. Y yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> what should we change it to? Fresh, thank you for the super chat, by the way, Fresh. Fresh, I think you have, and I want to say this as nicely as possible, I think you have too much faith in people. I don't think there's a phrase, I don't think there's a series of words I could put in the title that would not make people still misunderstand it. Making a music video for my Kenito song, I don't think that'd do it, Night Mist. I really don't think that'd do it. I think you overestimate people, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I make TikToks where I put in the TikTok, like text on screen, this song is called The Show That Never Ends by Longest Solo Ever featuring Oreo. It is on Spotify. And every comment is still like, what's the song called? Is this on Spotify? Where can I listen to it? What is this? Like, people can't. They just can't. And it's okay. <laughs> I, I have lost all faith in humanity. <laughs> I'm sorry. None of you can read. <laughs> Not you guys. You guys here are cool. <laughs> Here's our mouse. After Skibbity Toilet came out. See, Skibbity Toilet is just like old SFM animations. I have no problem with Skibbity Toilet. Okay, and this is where the glitchiness happens. Oh, is this the... This is the wrong file. This is before I add the glitch effects. Take a listen to this. Take, there's no, like, glitch breakdown here. Like it just stops. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that with the actual uh, file because we have the wrong one in here. Where is file master? There we go. Now the timing is probably off. Um, I'm gonna pull this in and line them up by eye. There we go. So I can be your one and only friend. Sorry for that. Don't know what happened there, but everything is perfect now. It's not too late to hide. Cool. All right, great. Let's finish making the assets for this, and then we can animate Kenito on screen, uh, and we'll have kind of our first actual finished scene. All right, let's remake the friendly reminder thing. Uh, and the way we're going to do that, we're going to pull in our new... Uh, oh, we need to actually capture that from here. Because the color changed. I love it when you point out that I'm buffering, by the way, guys. It makes me feel really good. <laughs> you got a one month sub? Nice. Congratulations, Jake. Yeah, we've had some uh, like wonderful people here gifting songs, gifting subs. Oh, I will make the screen melt. Don't worry. Just save over that. And now we can pull in here. That's not quite right. There we go. Okay. The body will be dragged. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, sweet. We got that.
and it just needs to come in here. Although it looks like we need to shorten this a little. So what I'm going to do is make one that ends here and one that ends here and then just bring it up. And then the background of the clock is a little off. This, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to key out that color. Oops, not on that layer though. Here we go. So we're just going to remove this color from the equation. There we go. And that's perfect. Now that looks more like that. Good. Does it specify 60 seconds instead of an extra minute? <laughs> okay, we can fix that. Here's what we can do. We can just, uh, the, let's see. The expression that's handling the text for that, we will just um, subtract like five from that number. Now it starts around 55 seconds. Okay, cool. Bro, you need to add him walking around with the skateboard. Yeah, we're getting there, Team Freedy. Have you have you made anything? <laughs> Do you know what things look like before they're finished, Team 3D? They look like this. Until the very end, I'd like to know everything that there is to know about you now. So I Okay. I want to make uh, this friend application. I want to fill it out more. So let's uh I know I'm just I'm just ragging on you. You're good, Team 3D. Okay, so let's fill out more of the... Um, I'm just going to hide these for a second. Bring back in our friend application. And what things did we have on screen in the other one? Not that one. This one. Skinny Twit going to be grinding rails? Yes, probably. <laughs> okay, so after email address. Uh, we didn't yesterday, Tallied Mark, but we are today. I found a CSS library that looks exactly like Windows 98. So that's what we're using now. Uh, let's see. After email address and favorite color, we're going to put... bank account number and then routing number credit card number yeah we'll do that too I figured bank account information was funny enough but oops What does a field trip for a coding class look like? Like, where did you go, Jake? <laughs> that sounds really cool. Um, what other things go on a credit card? Yeah, expiration. Zip code. Um, Jake went to pick snakes. <laughs> went inside the game and examined the code firsthand, Magic School Bus style. Oh God, not again, Miss Frizzle. Uh, we could do social security number, greatest fear. Get the skills, Oxica, and I'm not spending like basically any money. Like I have my Adobe subscription, but other than that, I'm using all free tools.
And you can learn all of this on YouTube. Uh, how about Mother's Maiden Name? It's pretty good. With the frizz? No way! That was a good theme song. Who did that theme? I forget. Um, it was Little Richard, of course. <laughs> That's awesome. That's right. Yeah, Little Richard did the Magic School Bus theme, and one of the Marley brothers, like one of Bob's sons, did Arthur. I think it was Ziggy, I want to say. So good. Every day when you're walking down the street. We've talked on here about the Arthur video essay I'm going to do at some point. Uh, we, this is a Jujutsu Kaisen joke. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't watched it, you're going to be very confused, and anyone who has is going to think this is hilarious. And we'll have greatest fear as well. Uh, I think we had blood type as a joke in there too. And we can make this a pull down label. Um, I can just grab the one we used above. Lyrics for the song stuck in your head. I'm not sorry. <laughs> A welding simulator? Two robots? That sounds awesome, Jake. That's super cool. Pet's name, that's pretty good. Um, There's a Hello Neighbor show? I don't think I was really aware of that. Get tunes going again. Yeah, we can put best friend in here, too. We'll put that on the next line. We'll just make the only option, Kenito. We'll make it disabled, too. You can't adjust this one. <laughs> Uh, oh, and there should be a submit button at the bottom of this. There we go. Um, and we'll... Text line center. Does that work? It does not work. Um, why didn't that work? Uh, 
How much you would like to donate to Canito Inc.? Is that in the game? Center aligning the text, not the button. I guess you're right. Well, text on is just what you use for like anything. Um, we could try align equals center though. That's not working either. Um, why wouldn't that be working? Fields row. Line items, center, display, flex. Um, maybe justify content, center. Uh, it's not quite what we wanted. Not all of them. Oh, just this one, though. Yeah, 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 we can do that then. Okay, cool. Content. Centering things got really hard in the last few years as they introduced what's called Flexbox, which is a new, like system for aligning text and objects. I still don't fully understand Flexbox. Here we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Good. That works for me. Let's pull this into uh, a sprite. going to update the friend application one. This will be a little messier because we're kind of like replacing a lot of stuff. But that's okay. Dean goes here, and all of these are going to have to get bigger, too. DeMarzo, whoops, come here. Email, street address. Birth date. Oh, did we not put birthday on here? Oh, well, whoops. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence goes down here. FL Studio goes over here. Nightmist, we did that, but I I don't like that it um. I don't like that it can cut off letters halfway like we did in the command prompt. So I'm I'm doing it here, with text animators, and I'm having more fun with that. Um, Looks pretty good. Perfect. Okay. Under one of your songs, it said longest solo ever, Dean M. DeMarza. I mean, that's my name. What does the M mean? Michael. <laughs> There's like 85 Michaels in my family. And I'm sort of one of them.
The M means musician. Yeah, it's like the E in Chuck E. Cheese. Charles E. Charles Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> Put the birthday thing in. I know, but we already like we already we already did all this work. I'm not doing that. We gotta finish this. Mean Michael Mamarzo. Do you have Opus like the font that comes with Muse Score, or what do you mean? That's the only Opus I can think of in the computer context. Dean Demarzo sounds so musical, and you got Michael in there. I know that is funny. I'm so used to be like growing up. I was always Dean Michael because my dad. Is also named Dean DeMarzo, but has a different middle name. Um, so I was always Dean Michael growing up in the house. Okay. This is going to be behind Kenito. Two Deans. Yeah, it's very confusing. And my wife has dictated there is no way we can name... Uh, a child's dean <laughs> because she's seen the amount of confusion in our house. That's cool though, Diane. That's cool that it's a name that's common in both languages. That's really interesting. You didn't have one before that. There's, I know a lot of people with no middle name, and that's very interesting to me. Okay, sweet. I'm streaming for, I'll probably go another five, five or six hours. Yeah, total, total like seven hours, probably. Okay, what we're going to do now Let's um let's figure out exactly the layout we're gonna have on screen here. Let's have this come in from the left, actually. Does this just pop on screen? Yeah, so let's have this um, do that same. Uh, I just have it bookmarked, so I can just type bounce script and it shows up. We're actually going to have it pop up here. Because the first one shows up on the left, and we want to draw attention to the right for the next side. He is going to pull it in with his hand. I'm just going to do that on Blender's end, I think. And actually, I guess we wouldn't do the bounce if he's pulling that in then. Oh yeah, I believe it. <laughs> uh, some kitten, this is After Effects. And then he's going to pull it off screen just as quickly. Glitch, glitch, glitch. Now let's have this one instead come in from the right. <laughs> you sounded like a 40 old accountant. <laughs> Make the command prompt shake while he types it in. Maybe. What if the mouse moved towards it? 
and then the window like pulls away like Kanito pulls the window away with his hand and then steps on the mouse I think that's what we're gonna do no Right on everything. But everything. But everything. But everything is perfect now. Uh, can you do... This. Sweet. Also, we will try to... There are so many amazing After Effects tutorials out there, people. That's a very good name, Manny. Let's add it. We need to... Cool. I just kind of skipped through to get a well, sense of how exactly it works. So we're working with like a pixelated maybe, fractal noise image here. Maybe. Or maybe you want a simple system and you can make maybe your How does this work? Nice. It's using Repetile and we're just masking but different layers in and out based on what? Cool. Okay, we'll watch more of that video later. Maybe the command window doesn't move and he just grabs the mouse instead. Let's have the mouse moving around uh, kind of panicked throughout all this too. So we're going to animate the mouse now. Um, I think it'll start off screen because we don't really need it to be a character in the shot yet for the beginning. And then the mouse is going to kind of wiggle around a little surprise, like you're like, wait, where'd it just go? Maybe it thinks about like trying to click on Kinedo next. But obviously, horrible things happen first. So I can be your one and only friend. Sorry for that. Sorry for that, don't know what. 
I like that there's just no close button on there because I forgot to put one. <laughs> you have to manually add like a closed button. Our one and only friend. So he's going to grab the mouse and pull it back under Kanito. And he's going to step on it. I will. We'll clean up that motion so I'm getting. Don't worry. Adjust this curve so it gets really dragged back there. And that's just going to struggle a little bit. The buttons in the command. No, they're supposed to be there, <laughs> Nightmist, but I think it, it is an oversight, but maybe it's kind of funnier if they're not. <laughs> well, if they're there, just grayed out. Yeah, we can do that. Um, where do we have that? So here's those, um, and we're going to put them in the title bar. Why didn't that work? Uh, oh, title bar controls. That's why. We're going to make them all disabled. It doesn't actually seem to do that. Uh, let's see. Do we actually have... Can we do that? Title bar. It doesn't seem like we can actually make them inactive. So I'm going to leave them off for now. And maybe I'll replace them with it later. What's up, Pink Rose? But everything is perfect. Sorry for that. Don't know what happened there, but everything is. I'm going to make it so it, like, maybe gets a little bit of progress. Ah, come on. But then Kanito pushes it right back down again. I did try that already, Nightmist. <laughs> I've been coding websites for like 30 years. <laughs> FGP scratch. And the mouse is just going to keep struggling on and off. Okay, now what we're going to do, this is going to be kind of a weird round trip. Uh, we're going to take Kanito out of this image. I'm going to render um, this. Do I have a shortcut for render? No. Okay, we need a shortcut for render. I do like that After Effects lets you edit every single shortcut. Um, so we're going to add to render queue, and we're going to make that um, this one. There we go. Okay. And this will be a one verse one for Blender. 
That's okay, King. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, I, for I should have taken out the dialog boxes too, because I want to move Tenito around the screen a little bit. So we're going to hide these dialog boxes as well. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, it is canonically me sitting at the computer. We are going to show that on video. Uh, I have a tripod back there, and we're going to take a shot from it for the video. Yo, Timeless, thank you for gifting a membership. You rock. Thank you so much, Timeless, for the gifted membership. Okay, now we're going to... This is 01 Desktop. Which archetype product, product should you get? You've been considering Tom Morello's? I mean, Jake, I would try them all. I would try them all out. Personally, I use Archetype, not Archetype, uh, Fort and Cali on everything. Um, Archetype Pliny is also really nice for cleans, are incredible. Um, okay, we are now going to pull in a background image of this one. And then let's set up a camera to look at this. Hey, thank you, Timeless. I'm glad you like Code Red. Why can't I see the image I just brought in? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh. Oh, are you only visible in orthographic? No, show in perspective, please. Okay. Although, actually, we want this to be an orthographic camera now that I think about it. Um, because we don't want it to have like perspective when Kenito moves around. So there we go. Good. And we're going to scale it out so we can just see the entire shot. And there we go. Why does Kenito have arms? This was in the model it gave me. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also need to get his lighting correct because he's a lot more saturated in the actual game, right? So let's adjust his materials a little. Uh, we should be an EV, that's good. Time, Timeless, what? Timeless. What? Holy crap, Timeless. Oh my god. <laughs> Timeless, thank you so much. I truly cannot thank you enough for that. You're amazing. Holy crap. Thank you. We're just going to hang out and thank Timeless for a second, because that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you truly so much. You're incredible. Thank you so much, Timeless. Timeless is the goat of the day. Incredibly generous. Thank you so much. You really like... You make it so possible for me to do what I do, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, Timeless. Absolutely amazing. Use a matte cap for Kenito's lighting. I, I don't know what that means, some kitten. I'll be honest.
Thank you. Thank you again, Timeless. It's fake lighting using a ping. I, I don't know exactly how I would set that up. Report shading. Oh, you have to be in solid shading. I don't know if you can render solid shading, can you? Uh, excuse me. All right. Thank you one last time, Timeless. You rock. Do I, have, I have so many more episodes of Longest Podcast Ever, and I've just been so busy, Blaker. I'm sorry. It is, uh, it's is—it's been really hard for me to find time to schedule those. But I do have episodes planned with awesome, awesome people. Someone made something in the art showcase. <laughs> Canito dancing and being spooky. <laughs> this, is, this is well done. Very well done, Stardust Nova. Did I record myself playing Canito Pet? I did not. I have not. Okay. So, what we need to do now is start animating Canito Pet around this scene. Uh, and what we're going to do is pull in the actual video so we can have the audio from it playing in the background. So we can see this. And I need to lengthen this. There we go. What's up, Toffee Record? Sweet. Okay, now we can go back to our layout screen. Uh, I'm going to turn on scrubbing so we can just... And then I'm going to make this needs to be an image sequence. Can I do that? Movie. Yes. Auto refresh. Good. And it is uh, a lot more frames than that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, his hands, I think, um, let's see, I forget exactly how I have this rigged, I think his hands are completely separate from his body, if I remember, so we could just put those, put those away for now. <laughs> Jake, I hope, I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, oh, there's one more bone I should add for Kanito. This is just good practice. This is a root bone that everything else is connected to. Cool. Uh, except the hands should not be connected to that. So now this should move 
Yeah, let's get into pose mode. This should move the whole Kinito situation. Good. This moves just his head. Good. We can turn his knees. Still move his full body. We even have feet. He can look around, but his eyes can look at different things. Boop, 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 boop. And that's very good. <laughs> this is wonderful. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all vibe with uh, music for a second. Chair stream. I have to go hit the restroom real quick. Be right back. I'm back. I know I do wish you could click on people's names in chat to be taken to their channel because like it leads to a lot of impersonation if you can't. Like anyone can show up and be longest solo ever in a chat. Um and what's worse is I don't have a check mark. I can't get a check mark because I have a music note, and that's very frustrating. Here we go. Was that a weather report in Sunsong from Ocarina of Time? <laughs> That's great. Would I be able to read this rig as well with the lighting? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Nothing I did was super special in here, I'll be honest. Uh, oh, the surfboard does need a... Uh, we need a surfboard bone as well. <laughs> or I guess we could just parent the surfboard to the root bone. Yeah, okay, cool. The one in the Discord is not rigged, no. Stardust, I appreciate it. I don't think it fits into exactly what I have in mind. Like, there's a very, very specific style I have planned, uh, but I appreciate it. Are these assets from the game? The uh, Kinito is, yes. Uh, or at least they were used to make the game. Troy released them in the Discord. Okay. So let's have him kind of stand up on Oh Hey Hello There. Hello. 
Maybe maybe we'll sneak it in somewhere. And we're going to set uh, keying set to just location. Only active keying set. There we go. Cheese first. <laughs> <laughs> timeless what timeless what are you doing to me thank you so much timeless oh my god timeless you are you are absolutely incredible thank you like really thank you what you do allows me to keep making music and making videos for people and I I truly can't thank you enough. Thank you Timeless. You are you are just the best. I I really can't thank you enough. You're you're amazing Timeless. Thank you. Timeless is the absolute best. Should he should he bop around a little bit like he did in the other video? I feel like he should. I feel like he should bop a little bit. <laughs> He's so goofy. Timeless, again, I, I'm just going to keep thanking you nonstop because <laughs> thank you, Timeless. And we're also going to animate his, his look position. I don't know about him looking in that direction. It'll get more ridiculous, don't worry. Let's have him look upward at this point. Timeless, you're you're amazing. Why is the PC Windows 95, 98 with the Windows XP wallpaper? Because it's funny, Marisa. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Tercero, it got a little crazy in here. Timeless is the absolute, absolute goat. I can make him cross his eyes, and that's very funny. <laughs> Song has become a hyper focus for you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, we're going to animate him moving around a little bit with his surfboard, and he's going to step on the mouse cursor and like drag it down. I might do that, Cosmo. I'm not sure. Okay, he should look at the mouse. Uh, we should move him around the screen first, though. Hang on. I think his surfboard's going to appear here. This is where it's going to show up. Prior to that, it'll be down here. And he's going to go from here to like up here. Uh, this needs to be linear motion. And here's where it'll disappear. Timeless. 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 <laughs> Timeless, what are you doing? Oh my god, Timeless. Timeless, thank you. Truly, truly thank you, Timeless. I just rolled over my headphone cord. I'm so so taken aback. Timeless, I I can't thank you enough for what you're doing. Like, seriously? Yeah, you you are single handedly making more art possible. And I, I can't thank you enough for that. It is truly, truly so incredibly helpful. You're you're the absolute best, timeless. It means so much to me. Until the very end, I'd like to know everything that there is to know about you now. So I can be your one and only friend. I think I'm going to pop him to the middle when we get back from this. Timeless, I, I'm just going to keep saying it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Actually, he needs to be here, kind of? Sorry for that, don't know what. And this is where one of his hands is going to come in. Although we should start animating the hands before this. Again, thank you, Timeless. Your, your first one hasn't even run out yet. 
like your first one is still on the board and we're two later thank you thank you timeless let's start animating these hands I, you've said that a bunch of times, Gmod man. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if there will be credits, because credits tend to be something that make people click off a video, and I don't ever want people to click off a video until the second it's done, so I'm probably not going to do anything like that. So we'll have a hand pull this in here. Most likely no gritty, I'm sorry. I'm also still not very clear on what exactly the gritty is. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up, Victini? I grittied in Lethal Company. That does not narrow it down. I did so many things in Lethal Company. I know the hand shape changes when it when it moves. Uh, we will deal with that momentarily. Okay, now we need to deal with this mouse moving. Gritty is basically when you swing your arms front to back while moving around. <laughs> what is... I need more specifics. I need more specifics, Diane. <laughs> I believe what I did was the wacky inflatable arm, man. Okay, and this is where one of those hands is going to pop up. Oh, I need to set rotation as a key as well. Okay. Tercero, thank you. No, no, what? Insert 150 others here. Thank you. Uh, I will drop the instrumental for this probably in, in like a week or two. Or maybe during the week. I don't know. We'll see. He is very creepy in wireframe mode. You are right. <laughs> Let's move back to material preview mode. There we go. I did see the part. I'm definitely going to do that silent banana. Don't worry. Okay, where does the... It gets grabbed right here. So this is the point where the hand needs to catch up with it. And we'll make the fingers like grab it in a, in a second. We got to block the animation first though.
you met my music when play with me release so you don't know much but honestly if you if you got into me when play with me release like that's most of my work <laughs> that's the beginning of most of my work it's like that and intruder and dread before that and all the nerdcore since then if you go to my um there's a longest solo ever originals playlist on youtube like longest solo ever original songs if you just go through that Timeless, thank you for joining memberships. I like I like that you gave away 150 memberships and we're not one yourself. <laughs> thank you again, Timeless. Timeless, like truly, truly, I can't thank you enough for all you've done on this stream. You're like, you're the absolute best. Thank you so much, Timeless. Really making everything possible in the biggest way. I, I can't describe it enough. Okay, and Canito's going to stomp on it here. Um, how can we animate this? I guess really Canito needs to be here in order for this to work. So we will just uh, update this position. Here, okay. Sorry for that. Don't know what happened there, but actually, maybe, maybe he's slightly to the right, so you can really stomp on it. There we go. Sorry for that. Don't know what. Hand goes to grab it pulls it over here and then Kanito is just going to like stomp on it. Uh, this is Blender for those who asked. JMMC. <laughs> Bonk. And he's going to struggle with it as it moves so we're going to like match move the movement of this mouse. Until, at the very least, until it stops really moving much. <laughs> this is great. Quite tolerable, thank you for joining members. We're just going to keep nudging through. Just to really sell the animation that they're connected. I could even theoretically track this and have Blender do it, but that would take a lot longer than just doing it frame by frame. I will make his eyes look at the mouse. I, I don't know. It's kind of better if he just maintains eye contact with you as he's just like stomping your cursor into the ground. We'll see. I think I think he looks towards you. Halfway through it, maybe. And now he's just going to hold it still while the mouse struggles. Oh, oh, it, never mind. It gets lifted up a little bit. Which means the rest of his body's probably going to have to move too, and that's okay. There's an implied ground plane, I think. Yeah, the hand's going to get moved. I'm scared. Don't worry. Can I see your face? I think... Um... Oh, and it reflects the screen. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Carl. I was thinking about having like a very subtle outline of a face so it looks like it's a reflection.
And welcome, GP Scratch. Oh, I'm so used to it, Tercero. I don't even think about stuff like this anymore. I'm so used to match moving animations and frame by frame stuff. This is where the screen's gonna start breaking down so we don't have to do this as perfectly. This is probably where his head starts moving, too, I'm guessing. Okay, the mouse stopped moving. Good. It's dead. Yeah, good. We're going to get the hand out of the way now. I guess he'll kind of hop a little bit to get... <laughs> so creepy. Okay. Uh, we're going to make the eyes look at the mouse a little bit. Here's where he notices it. We're just going to loosely track the motion. So that your eyes will naturally follow Kanito's. Then he looks up at you again. But <laughs> Okay, I think we can clean up some of the timing on this. It needs to hit with a little more impact. But everything, the stomp. That's the beat. So we need to animate a few different things here then. These are all the keyframes down here. When the worlds collide, they fall apart, but despite this, I'm still standing tall, fallen, and ruined. See this world you have made with your own musical hands. <laughs> Thank you, Timeless. 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 What are you doing? Timeless, you're going to kill me. Timeless, you're actually going to kill me. Gato Paint, what's up? Timeless, oh my god. 
<laughs> Your first one is still on the board up there. Timeless. You've gifted 200 memberships. You're crazy. You're absolutely, you're, you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. I can't thank you enough. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Truly, truly can't thank you enough. Timeless. Timeless, you are, you're so, so amazing. Gotto Paint, Timeless has been like single-handedly just providing memberships for everyone ever. Is the member goal broken? <laughs> I didn't even think to look at that. That's gotta be just not functioning anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not even reacting because it's been annihilated. You broke it. Thank you, Timeless. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Timeless, thank you. What am I gonna do now that member, go member goal has been reached? That's a good question. Thank you so much, Timeless. Okay, let's export this. We we can redo the timing later. Um, timeless. Timeless, you, you're amazing. You're just so amazing. Thank you. I don't know what to say, Timeless. I truly don't know what to say. I'm just so thankful. You just you're just the best. Oh, I have the wrong thing selected. Hang on. Timeless you are like, I'm just going to keep saying it. You can't stop me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. One one last time, Timeless. Thank you so much. Truly, truly thank you. It means a lot to me. It really does. Gato Paint, thank you for the super chat. There's a button I'm missing. and I, There it is. Okay. Okay, perfect. We've got Kanito rendering here. He looks good. Gotta make the mouse and the hand a bit smoother. Uh, no, they shouldn't be smooth, right? But we'll 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 see how the animation feels once we get it into into Blender or into After Effects. I love how fast this renders because um, there's just like nothing to. Everything's so tiny. <laughs> Everything's so tiny in terms of in terms of render time. He's just bopping around the screen. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> it is rendering. It's just happening so fast that it's not, it's showing the beginning of the render, not the end. Almost there. We're at about 700 frames out of 1,100. Yeah, we're doing a full animation for Everlasting Fun. Almost there. This would have been like a two-hour render if it were full resolution. I really enjoy, <laughs> really enjoy this. <laughs> Almost done. And now we're going to pull it into After Effects. So what this actually exports as is not a movie file because I need transparency in the video. Uh, so it's actually 
thousands of PNG files. Literally thousands. So we're going to pull those in as a sequence. Um, I hope I animated this at the right FPS, 30. I think that's right. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, then we pull Canito in here. Oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking me up. We'll be the best of friends. Together till the very end. I'd like to know everything that there is to know about you now. So I can be. We gotta put the cursor below him. Yeah, his lighting does look a little off. What we can do to fix that is uh, posterize him or possibly run retro dither on him. Let's see which feels better. Um, I think retro dither might be the best option. Ah. That looks better. Do we want to do the Bayer patterns? Maybe? I kind of don't like the Bayer pattern on, on the dithering. I like it just actually looking like crap. He is kind of floating above the surfboard. We'll fix that. <laughs> that there is to know about you now, so I can be your one and only friend. Sorry for that. Don't know. Oh, <laughs> there's something you should know about After Effects, and that's when it's playing slowly because it's still rendering. It will slow the song down, so we heard just like sorry for the. <laughs> Yeah, is he is he the right saturation? We should see. Um, feels a little desaturated compared to the actual thing, so we can uh, we can fix that. That feels a little better. It's so scary what happens. Sorry for that. Don't know what happened there, but everything is perfect now. It's not too late to hide. Okay, now we're going to make it like slowly zoom in and get creepy there. Uh, so let's add an adjustment layer. When I made Kanito seeming ragdoll after the it's not too late to hide. Was I moving the model for the entire animation? I was just moving his head forward towards the camera. What if I, um, what if we did kind of a Kubrick zoom on him here? This would be weird. Okay, trust me. Uh, it's Gato Paint. It's kind of about um, like an evil Bonzi buddy or Clippy, uh, like desktop assistant. It is a new. It came out about two months ago. It's really good. Start zooming in here. We want to make sure everything is set to draft mode, which means it's not going to be anti-aliasing anything. Now, it's not too late to hide. 
How long have I been animating this? Uh, about two hours, almost. Give it to oh, we spent the first hour fixing stream like bugs and issues. Now it's not too late. Okay, so we have that, but I want to I want to do like a cubic zoom where the foreground moves towards you and the background moves away. That's really creepy looking. So let's put another adjustment layer under Kinito. And this one, while this one's zooming in, is going to zoom out. And it's going to be kind of subtle. Yeah, a dolly cam zoom, exactly. Sorry for that. Don't know what happened there, but oh, the cursor needs to be above this. Yes, okay. Ah, why is the cursor below? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good now. I'd like to know everything that... Oh, make add the command. Yes, you're right. I think you're right on that. Um, but the cursor needs to be above that. I guess this works. Should this work? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good call. Good call. Go to Mushka. Oh, except that text actually shouldn't be. Um, that's the death clock. Here we go. Together till the very end. I'd like to know everything. Yeah, I gotta add Kanito dot on the screen, you're know right. About you now, so Friend application should also get anti aliasing. That one's okay. Oh, I can be your one and only friend. Also need to adjust this one a little bit because we're kinda losing Kanito in it. Blue screen. Well, we might do one after this section. That mouse mo motion is really quick. I'll redo it later. I have not played Kanito Pet, but we watched a pretty extensive playthrough of it. I'm a fake fan. I'm sorry. What's Cake Shake's idea? When he says you want to, yeah, add a seat of him deleting everyone off your friends list, maybe. Um, yeah, we could we could do that. You think it's just start later? Okay, let's make things really break apart here. Uh, we're going to use Retro Dither. And can I mix this one? I guess I can. Okay, that's going to have to be its own.
And we're going to kind of animate in this threshold. And we'll do pixel sort. We'll go with a vertical so it looks like it's melting downward. Oh, I did upward actually, sorry. So we'll animate the length so it increases. Yeah, we could have some more windows pop up and stuff too. That could be fun. There we go. That, that's glitchy. And this is about where it actually needs to hit. Uh, I did, so I did the singing lines with AI, I did the speaking lines with just Sam. And we'll do a, a edit on the next layer up from this, like after we export this, when we actually bring it into the video editor, where we'll stutter this a little bit. Cool. Uh, I'd also like to make things red at this point. So we'll pull in a tint, and we're just going to kind of flicker this in a little bit. Uh, I used RVC running locally on my computer. It was a, a model I trained myself. Yeah, go for it, Sama Banana. Does this site still exist? It does. Hacker typer. <laughs> I love this website. Okay, so we're just going to have it start having a bunch of code display on screen. We'll copy all this. probably enough um, and we'll just have it start typing that in as we get to this point uh, so we'll do character opacity zero range selector uh, percentage characters square smoothness zero and there we go it can start typing like that Oops, I didn't want to actually... There we go. Uh, 
Oops. Oh, that should be under the other. <laughs> under the transform. Ah, it's still not moving with the right thing. I think it needs to be one more down. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I do not have a, a coffee, Ko-Fi. Um, I, I make all my money from uh, timeless donating things. <laughs> no, I, I make most of my money from YouTube and Spotify streaming. So just doing that is like the best thing you could do. Or donating, me donating memberships is also really, really freaking cool. If the text started going off the end of the prompt as well, maybe, maybe we could do that. Um, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. That is, I'm going to say, like a good rough draft for the scene. And we can move on to the next. Oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking me up. We'll be the best of friends. Together till the very end. I'd like to know everything that there is to know about you now. So I can be your one and only friend. Game so sequence, thank you for so much for the super chat. Know. <laughs> I might rewrite that text with like actual stuff. You have the actual thing? Oh, awesome. Sweet. I'm going to grab that then. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gertamushka. Does Kenito hit the Gangnam Style? He does not. Uh, I don't think the Mixamo animations would retarget well to, um, <laughs> to Kenito's lack of a rig. Or I would. Got it. Uh, so we're going to drop that now into that text box. Perfect. And you said it turns red after a bit. So what we can do is a, uh, a fill effect on that layer. And we can keyframe that from here to red and we will just make that happen a little earlier there we go did it misspell Kenito pet because that's funny <laughs> <laughs> the hide and seek part is scary as hell Okay, so we've got that. Uh, what's our next scene? Glitchy screen with distorted background. Do you think you're in control? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of what would be like fun to animate next because we don't have to do this in order. Fun with all your friends here. These are definitely your friends. I think I want to do the, the house that Kenito makes for you. Um, You did misspell Kenito? Okay, <laughs> I'll fix that then. Um, I want to go to the house that Kenito makes for you because we're going to do a scene in there with all of them sitting around the table. It's going to get dark. Okay. Let's make this scene. Uh, this is scene number... One, two, three... Four, five. This is scene six. And this is going to be the inside of this house. I think, I think. Which means we need to model a house. <laughs> Let's do that quickly. <laughs> Plane. Uh, we need a wood texture. It's 
So we go to Texture Haven, and we download some wood. You, you wouldn't download a wood, would you? <laughs> Wood. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> I hate myself. Oops, I pulled the wrong map. Uh, we need the diffuse. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Uh, except I, I really want it to look like crap. So hang on, we're going to pull it open in a sprite. And we're literally going to size it down to, like, what, 128 pixels? That looks sufficiently garbage. Good. Uh, now we just need to reload that image. Boop. Uh, okay, this is okay, but we really need it really pixelated. So what we're going to do is set the interpolation from linear to closest and now we get nice pixelated stuff what, what's your fun fact timeless okay then we just have like these plain walls right Timeless. I was worried you were going to do that. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not I'm not going to go on too long cuz I know you don't want that. But thank you Timeless. Thank you again. You are you're doing so much for me. I can't thank you enough. It's really it's you've annihilated the member goal thingy. Wait. Wait. Wait, did I misunderstand, or did I just see that twice? Did you just do a hundred more? <laughs> Timeless, what are you doing to me? Do you just like to see streamers break? <laughs> oh my god, Timeless. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I, I thank you. You are ridiculously, truly generous. I can't thank you enough. I, I just don't even know. Don't even know what to say. I got nothing. I got nothing to say. You're just endlessly, endlessly generous. And I can't thank you enough. Adonis, that's exactly what the original music video was. <laughs> Let's model a table. And some chairs. That's a table, right? This is legally a table. I can't thank you enough, Timeless. You're, you're really. Oh, the body bag will be. Don't worry, Morton. Around the um, drag the body across the floor line. When I take the room 3D model from the game, is it out? I didn't see it on models resource. It's on Spriter's resource, but not models resource. Unless you have the model somewhere, Funkin' boy. I don't think I could capture Timeless's generosity in a song properly. 
think it's because, yeah. He, uh, are these the... Do we just use the same texture as the floor for the table? Because I think that'd be funny. It's possible to decompile by hand. I don't have that time, and it's way easier for me to just model a bunch of blocks, Funkin' Boy. The models are on Sketchfab. If you, um, Adonis, if you can find them and like link them in the uh, Discord, like maybe we can look on there real quick. This isn't really helpful. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not seeing anything useful on Sketchfab. <laughs> Thank you again, Timeless. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Hey, chair. And that gets the same wood material as everything else. <laughs> Except we're going to do a smart project on this. There we go. Oh, Victini, I absolutely get the money from these. And it's it's incredibly, incredibly helpful for me. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, we need a like low poly person outline. And I'm doing this, I'm loading this off screen because oftentimes human models tend to be uh, detailed <laughs> is the word I'll use. <laughs> but this one, this one looks okay. Okay, so we're going to append from the file I just downloaded. Grab a dude. Okay. Uh, and we're going to really, really quickly rig him so we can pose him. Let's add, uh, we're going to do the human meta rig. And we're just going to quickly edit it so that it fits. We do not need all the hand bones. These can go. I mean, yeah, there's like... <laughs> yes, if you go looking for human models, you will find human models. This so does not need to be like well rigged. Uh, in fact, I'm going to delete like most of the bones here. Definitely don't need all these face bones. Ear bones. I can't believe there's ear bones. That's crazy. I'm just simplifying the heck out of this rig. Okay. 
add subway surfers to the side of the screen. This is a little bit boring. Uh, grow up. <laughs> I will put the music back on, though. Yes, Dean has very, very severe ADHD. <laughs> Earlier when I went up to go use the restroom, I was also going up to take my ADHD medication. What colors am I colorblind for? The important ones, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, red. Red, but red is involved in like all the colors except teal. The presence of red determines how much you're seeing that color. So, like, I kind of get messed up with all of them a little bit. Golden Lotus, shush. Discord fella said something. Can't post image, but looked in playthrough. It's small case and command part. The command text thingy? Is that it? His purpose his purpose is to be your best friend. Oh, it's on the VIP. Oh. Most importantly, someone has shown me what the gritty is. Thank you. This is this is very helpful. Oh, I didn't want to download it. <laughs> I just have an image of Goku hitting the gritty on my computer. That's good. <laughs> but yes, there are a lot more people in VIP chat now. <laughs> Is there something in particular I'm looking for? Yeah, this is Roses from Friday Night Funkin'. Okay. That is a sufficient rig. We're going to parent this. To the meta rig. And we should theoretically have something kind of functional. Okay, cool. You hop on stream and Goku's hitting the gritty. I needed to know what the gritty was, though. That's it. Okay, I'm not doing IK rigging on this or anything. Just because this just needs to be stupid. And they're all in really, like, stupid poses in the game. Uh, I am going to stitch 2D images onto their faces, yes. Chat on screen is frozen. Uh, this is helped by my knowledge that Troy did not rig a single thing in this game, and that's very funny to me. He was in here saying that yesterday, like, I didn't rig anything for this game. You already did more than I did. <laughs> uh, all of T Team LSE is getting cameos. Okay, so now that we've got that... What song is this? Oh, Flame Mammoth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is our chair. Table. Have the OSC plush. How do I have to find the model for that. But I should, you're absolutely right. I should have the OSC plush in here.
I will, I will put Timeless's name in here somewhere. Don't worry. <laughs> and I'll repose these a bit. Uh, but let's get uh, let's get profile pictures for everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm I am going to grab your profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Discord Tercero. I just need to figure out how to do that. Uh, I think I can log into the Discord app on the web. And just go into the... I'm doing this off screen, so I don't like... Mostly so I don't leak all the things I'm working on, which is a lot. But I'll grab these one at a time. Got Callie's profile picture. Uh, I gotta find Tercero in here. There he is. There we go. That's, I'm not going to ask why you have that, Gertamushka, <laughs> but I don't need, honestly, high quality is worse in this case. Like, under no circumstances do I want the words high quality around this video in any way. Uh, well, it's, time to, it's time to play Can A Sprite Open WebP Files. Yes, success. Okay, now we're going to add this in. Uh, where did this go? A sprite exports, probably. Where did I just export that to? Downloads. Whoops. <laughs> oh, you got to hear my stupid laugh. Tori makes fun of that laugh a lot. And it needs to be kind of rotated this way a little bit. Actually, what I can do is just parent it to the bone. Um. There we go. And then what I can do is just, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Well, yeah, do that. And then can we get relative positioning? No. Okay. Oh, well. What song is this? Air Critique City. Yeah, this one's good. Okay. So here's the animation I have in mind for this section. Hey, later, Golden Lotus. I didn't know what Kanito Pet was until about two hours before the Kanito Pet stream. I will... <laughs> <laughs> There's Oreo. So Oreo, um, Oreo, and I were talking about it, and she mentioned Kanito Pet was a cool thing, and that I would enjoy it. Uh, and I, I have this DM between me and her that I screenshotted because it's very funny. 
She's like, oh, I think you'd really like it. It's like right up your alley. I'm like, cool. I know what I'm doing on stream today. And then in all caps, she just writes, um, I don't know if you should play it on stream. <laughs> Do I have kidney disease or some kind or my kidney? My kidneys are in good shape as far as I know, Timeless. That was very ominous. <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> but yeah, I thought, I thought that response from Oreo was the funniest thing. She was just like, maybe don't dox yourself. Uh, and then, then like two minutes later, I, uh, I put up the stream saying like, hey, we should write this. Okay. So what I'm thinking for this segment, let's go to our overall timeline here. Uh, this is the second verse. I was made. I'm not going to divulge too much of my medical history. <laughs> Oh wait, this is the wrong section. Give it members, take up kidneys. <laughs> Kenito has 118 views already. Jeez. Is it, um, let's see how it's doing compared to, I'll show you on, uh, I can't pull up the mobile app on desktop, but we can look at how it's doing compared to show that never ends, which is what I really enjoy looking at. Okay. So right now I'll screenshot this and drop it over to the computer so you can see it. Um, Okay, so right now, ah, there we go. I like that I can see this on mobile. In its first four days and one hour, amazing uh, show that never ends music video had 128K and Everlasting Fun is up to 120K in that same amount of time. That's pretty cool to me. That's very cool to me. Okay. Okay, so what I want to show here uh, what do we see on screen for this segment? All of their profile. Look, it's okay, there's like a cursor, um, there's a cursor in the middle of the screen. There's a little circle, oh my God. and that shows text. It's all of my friends. Who's this? Friends. I don't know who that is. Okay, so here's what I want to happen, and I'm gonna detail the um, <laughs> this section this section is dark and I also think it's hilarious and I ran it by everyone who's going to be in the video because it's on the darker side <laughs> here's what happens no and fun with all your friends here those are definitely your friends you see all the low poly uh like people with various uh friend faces stapled to their heads and then on the line but if you had to choose it's going to say received knife and then a knife appears in your hand <laughs> Yo, Fel Kradowski, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then then I know you'd leave them all behind. It's going to auto-lock your head onto, I, I think, Tercero would be very funny. Um, I love you. Love you, Tercero. And, and then it just starts, like, forcing you to walk towards them as you can see the players trying to move the mouse out of the way. Uh, and then it's going to abruptly cut to the exterior of the house. <laughs> With all your friends here, those are definitely your friends. You had to choose. So, this is where the text should appear. Make it Comic Sans. No, I think I think the Windows font is funnier. I could also the, uh, another funnier font would be the Minecraft font. 
I thought about having a little Minecraft hot bar come up at the bottom of the screen, too. <laughs> I think that'd be very funny. That's what we're doing. Don't ask why I have the Minecraft font. I don't know either, I'll be honest. Let's have a Minecraft hotbar show up at the bottom of the screen. I love Spriter's resource so much. Here's the GUI, and uh, there it is. There's the hotbar. Perfect. <laughs> this is so stupid. There's something you should know about my my philosophy when it comes to making things. It's if I can think of the stupidest and funniest thing I can do, I have to do that thing. I have to, I have no other option. I have to do the absolute silliest thing possible. Trey Xavier, that's awesome. Yeah, Trey Xavier's awesome. He's great. Wonderful dude. Um put an axolotl egg in the hot bar. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is there an axolotl egg? Is that a... I haven't played Minecraft in forever, guys. It would be... What color, whatever color Kanito is. I'm so colorblind. Uh, are there egg? Thank you, Minecraft Wiki. At least make the egg yourself? Why? <laughs> What's up, Mirror Kit? That is not pink. I'm aware of that, Edelbert. <laughs> Uh, I actually really want, like, a full, a proper resolution item icons download. Here we go. Oh, Axolotl Spawnic. Perfect. I hope this isn't, like, scaled up in an annoying amount. Totally is. Whatever. That's fine. Why are we doing this? Because it's funny. That's why. We'll figure out the knife image later. Okay, let's add a camera. The inside of hot bar is transparent. Thank you, Carrie. I know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is this Mushroom Hill Zone? What is the uh, perspective size on this look like? Is it a really wide angle lens? You sent the egg in the media channel? Thank you, Gershomashka. Can you have a reference? Who are you, GP Scratch? I don't know you. The more elements you add, the more distracting it'll be from the actual joke we want to make. So I'm not going to add too many elements, guys. That could work. We might use that. Thank you, Fatal Boy. Sticky, stop spam. Okay, you're getting timed out, Sticky. Go away. <laughs> Jesus. Don't be like Sticky, people. None of that is fun. Seems like maybe there's more of a global illumination situation going on. With like a little bit of light to add some shadowing. does rhyme with stinky just rlx i appreciate the effort though i think we're gonna put Tashero's face on this one for camera's sake this is not another keynote although i have i kind of there's a song i want to do I'm going to drop another Kanito related song, but it's a cover and I can't explain that yet. <laughs> it's just a stupid, stupid joke that my brain... Not even a joke, it's just, it's a really, really catchy song that having Kanito, uh, that uses an AI voice, not an AI, but like a text-to-speech voice, that having a song with, that I'm currently doing a text-to-speech song with, is good synergy. Um, I can't play it on stream for you, but <laughs> the song is, um, is, uh, It's this song, What I Want by Gregor McMurray. It's insanely catchy. It is just kind of starting to blow up. And if I did a cover of it with Kenito's voice, I think I would also blow up. Uh, it's it's also like really heavy Electro House, which is my exact brand. And that's why I'm not even worried about saying that idea on stream and someone else beating me to it, because I know no one can do it as heavy as I can, this specific brand of stuff. <laughs> so... I think that would be fun. What program do I use to animate this stuff? The 2D stuff is in After Effects. The 3D stuff like this is in Blender. Okay. Uh, we also need a little pixel circle in the center of the screen. Like this. Make sure no one can steal your ideas by being too good. That's my whole strategy. 
Like, honestly, and, and I'm not... That sounds really, really, really cocky, because it is. Um, but truly and honestly, I am never worried about someone stealing my ideas, because if an idea is that stealable, it's then you're probably not doing enough in the process, right? It should never be about the idea, it should be about what you're adding value-wise. I will absolutely shout out Timeless in a lot of places. I'm going to use the cursor they use in the game, but we are adding the Minecraft hotbar because I think that'd be funny. What do I use for the VHS effect? I use Universe VHS by Red Giant and um, or Signal by Zabex, I think. Um, this one. Signal by Zabex is really cool. Makes for these kind of looks. Uh, I also used modulation by them a lot in the Code Red video. These are all paid effects, but they're really cool. Oh, that jump scared me. <laughs> exactly. It's not so much about the idea, but what you do with it. I love modulation. This is a really cool effect I haven't been using as much lately, and I should. Yeah, I love analog car effects. Okay. We're going to export that uh, audio from here. Why is this so long? That should not be that long. Oh, whoops. There we go. So Stardust Nova, I like I have said the same thing um, that I I'm talking about making my own analog car. I have I have the ideas down in general. I think it'd be fun. I haven't watched Murder Drones yet. I'm going to watch it this weekend, so I'm ready for the new episode coming next week, Stardust, because maybe, maybe I'm going to make a Murder Drone song. I don't know. If I was going to make a Murder Drone song, this would be a damn good time to do it. Gerda Manchka, I'm absolutely doing that for sure. The, um, the, the gunshot screen break thing. For sure. Hang on. I'll be right back. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Tori had been texting me and I didn't notice it because my phone was on Do Not Disturb. So she was stomping on the floor above me to try to get my attention. <laughs> she was wondering where I put a grocery item we bought yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I'm back. So yeah, I, I have an analog card thing in mind. Uh, that I'm going to keep the idea to myself just because I don't want to spoil anything when it does come out. 
but uh, but it would be it'd be pretty fun. What models from Kanita Pet would you possibly need? I mean, man, the fountain and the person uh, avatar would be amazing, Adonis. That would be very helpful. And the house, too, if you have that. How much longer am I streaming? Probably another three hours? Oxka, we're just going to hang out all evening. Yeah, the Gregor McMurray song is ridiculously good, right? Okay, so there's two songs that have been like just occupying my brain lately. One is What I Want by Gregor McMurray. Uh, the other is... Um, why did I just hear a Discord notification? I don't have Discord notifications enabled. <laughs> that freaked me out. Um... Power Fresh, thank you so much for the super chat. When it does come out, I'm sure you'll be the first one to write Nerdcore about it. Not if I beat you to it, Fresh. <laughs> but yes, hell yes. I can't wait for people to write Nerdcore about it. And I can't wait to hear what you do, Fresh. And thank you again for the super chat. Uh, I have done all of this one alone, Crystal, but I've had a lot of wonderful help from people on other videos. Um, the other song that's been occupying my brain a lot lately is the song Cut You Loose by Emmy Grace. Uh, she's another, she's like big on TikTok. She does really sick guitar solos, but this is just like a crazy, crazy, catchy, like heavy electro house song that I also really enjoy. Okay, we're going to turn on. Can I rotate the camera like this? Let's see. Oh, not like that. <laughs> kind of like this. Let's see. Can I auto keyframe motion? Fun with all your friends here. Those are definitely your friends. Does that work? Yes. Here. Okay, cool. That does work. Good. He doesn't have arms, so I don't think a T-pose makes sense. <laughs> you can imagine he's always T-posing, though. I didn't mention anything about, else about the analog horror thing. It, and it would I would say digital horror is probably the better word for what it is, although that's not like as commonly used of a term. But it's going to take place in kind of late 90s. It, it's going to be along this aesthetic. Um, and I have... It's going to be some of this aesthetic, some live footage, some... Uh, um, like PS1 era animation kind of thing. Fun with all your friends here. No, sorry. Let's have us start out over here. Fun with all your, Fun with all your friends here. He's going to walk towards the friends. Oh, did that not work that time? Oh, here we go. Okay, but we're going to delete the location keyframes. And now we're just going to keyframe the location. You listened to my song when you were 8 or 10? Wow. Wait. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy to me that people like of all ages are listening to my songs. That means a lot to me. Fun with all your friends here. No okay, he's going to walk over here now. Except this needs to be linear motion. I just want to remove these rotation keyframes. Just the rotation ones, please. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
Whose face is on? It's Tercero, uh, one of my moderators. All your friends here, those are definitely your friends, but if you... But if you... This is where the knife appears in your hand. And I think it's going to be a really low poly like model. Is there a way to make the models pure white with no shading? Are they like that in the game? So I don't think they're actually pure white. Uh, what they are is smooth shaded. And we can do that. There we go. Uh, I am using EV actually, game sequence. Uh, cycles would look like this. Run Evie. <laughs> it's working really well. Uh, I don't think we're going to give him a Minecraft sword. We're already doing the Minecraft joke in the hotbar. So what we're going to do is... Um, let's just model a really quick knife. I'm very glad you can't stop giggling because that is like the exact emotion I want to inspire with my songs at all times. Like, I I write scare like very i want to write stuff so silly and so intense like it, it's a horseshoe situation right as you go around the serious side of things and as you go around the silly side where those two things meet at the other end that's where i live that's what i do right like the guitar solo honestly is my least favorite part of the song, not because she's not killing it. I think she's fantastic, but I am just like, and this is so ironic for me as an electric guitarist, uh, like I am just so not interested in guitar solos in songs for the most part. Uh, and, and I really, really think she nailed it with the vocal hook. She nailed it with the production on the instrumental. And I just want more of that. I just want a whole song of that just blasting me in the ears. But yeah, that whole song's great. Her, she she does like her discography is as bizarre as mine honestly um i i definitely recommend checking out emmy grace she's really cool there we go that's a knife that's a knife I hope Manny wasn't here to hear that. <laughs> no one told Manny I did a terrible Australian impersonation. Any planned Alistair song date? Eventually. I do not know. I don't know, Delta. No, we're doing a handle. Don't worry. Is it made of time? The time knife. I rewatched that episode of The Good Place the other day because I just love it. Let's start for animosity. Time was the the ones time was did earlier are still going. Yes. Uh, let's do the metal for the knife. Stardust, I will check that out when we get a moment. You want to make an animatic to the song? Do it. Color our hilts like this kind of color. Why, why are you hungry for why are you hungry for finger spike music you Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> oops <laughs> okay what we're gonna do is parent uh, the knife to the camera
And then... How do I make it so it's... Um, You set the transform of an object relative to its parent in Blender. Parenting tips. That's very funny. <laughs> Thumbnail for Blender. <laughs> that's great. Alt O. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um. Child object will snap to the parent's location. Really? Because it's not. All right, let's queer the parent. Let's keep parent, keep transform, I guess. I guess that works. Come on, a little more. There we go. Perfect. Fun with all your friends here. Those are definitely. I think the blade of this is a little too silly. Huge. Uh, so can we like? That's better. Maybe somewhere in between that. Um, there we go. Are definitely your friends, but if you okay, here's where had to choose is going to happen. Oh, I didn't keyframe the location. Whoops. GoldenEye Type 7 Knife. That's exactly what it is. GoldenEye 007 Type Knife. Yeah. You had to choose. <laughs> you had to choose. If you had to choose. <laughs> Blender, it, it's not that bad. I promise. It's not complicated. Your friends, but if you had to choose. Okay, now it's going to lock the camera on. Yeah, making the assets is definitely the harder part. Ah. And then he's going to start slowly walking towards him. <laughs> hey, thanks, GP Scratch. Right, 
We're going to make it try to fight this a little. And what's going to happen here? So I'm going to add some keyframes. Like forced lock-on ones. And I'm going to try to move the mouse away from it. <laughs> and then we can make the screen start really shaking here. Uh, we will use the graph editor for that. We're going to add a noise modifier at this point. That shows up around frame 319. Or 315 and it fades in for five frames maybe. And we're going to copy this modifier to the Y rotation. Oh, except, actually, you shouldn't be able to move your mouse in that direction, so we're not. Uh, we'll copy it to the Z rotation. Okay, and that's where this shot ends. Yeah, we'll finish modeling out this room in a second. I just want to like get this into uh, into After Effects so we can see it all together. Make sure this looks good. Oh, right. Okay, it looks pretty good. We're going to render that out real quick. And then we'll overlay stuff in After Effects after the, after it. You suck mid, D. <laughs> cool. So there's that. Let's pull that into AE. I need to organize this uh, session here, but that's okay. And what we can do is probably retro dither. This shot down. Fun with all your friends here. We'll do the same hue and saturation adjustment to kind of brighten things up a little. Those are definitely your friends, but if you had, you had to choose. <laughs> This should have a drop shadow on it, so it's readable. Definitely your friends, but if you had to choose... I feel like this should probably flash a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, we can do... Uh, we'll just animate it. There we go. And now it uh, doesn't it show like the friend's name as you hover over them. So we'll have it flash to Sarah Lugar on screen at this point. Uh, I use Resolve to edit my videos. I don't use them to animate them. Uh, I do all my 2D. This is called comping. What we're doing technically right now is any kind of 2D combination of images. Um, so I use After Effects for this. Uh, I am going to add their faces to everyone else. I just uh, I just haven't done that yet. Fun with all your friends here. Those are definitely your friends. But if you had to choose... <laughs> Good. And then we'll pop to the outside of the screen. Uh, who, whoever was grabbing uh, Greta Mushka, was someone grabbing uh, or Funkin' Boy, maybe? Oh, Adonis. Did you have any of the um, files? Oh, the hotbar. Yeah, we got to put it in the hotbar. Right, right, right. Um, someone pointed out the background needs to be transparent, which is absolutely correct. I don't need the human model, Adonis. I appreciate it. Uh, the fountain would be amazing. Thank you. That would save me so much time. What we're going to do is copy... This frame, paste it here, and we'll just do like two of these. Well, I guess we could just grab them all. It's easy. Why is there a Minecraft and Canoe Pets on? Because it's funny. Uh, now what we do is we make this layer, can we just, I guess we can't really adjust opacity, that's okay. I can just push this as a separate layer. So we'll do this as Minecraft hotbar. It's funny as my reasoning for everything. Yes. Like, okay. So in, um, ah, hang on. In Dungeons and Dragons, uh, there is there is a rule, an unspoken rule, um, that we all follow. There are two of them. One is the rule of cool, and one is the rule of funny. And those rules mean that the thing you're doing is it breaking the rules. Does it not technically fit within the rules of how D&D &D works? Oh, you can change opacity by clicking on the layer. Thank you, Lena. That's, that's that's actually incredibly helpful. <laughs> I'm just going to do that instead of what I was just planning to do. Thank you. I'm glad someone here knows how to use a spread because I do not. Hey, nice. Perfect. Okay, now I can just spit this out as one uh, one big layer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leonids. Oh, lunch is here. Thank you so much, honey. 
That's is there a name? <laughs> oh wait, did you set it to it does do that. There is a setting that can make it do that. You might have set. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have boneless wings. Which, are they really wings then? Because I think these are just like pieces of chicken that we call wings. Yeah, if the rules don't allow it, but it's extre extremely cool, you do it anyway. Same goes for funny. What did Tori do to the food? No, so, um, she said the oven turned itself off, which normally the oven we have, like the timer goes off and then you have to turn off the oven, but there's a button right next to the timer that sets the bake time instead, and it'll just automatically turn off after that. And I assume either Kanito is in our oven or she used that button. That's all. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting. Okay, here we go. Uh, and now we need to put a picture of this knife in there. So let's get, uh, let's render out a quick image of this knife. I'm just making it so we can look only at this. You're starving. I haven't eaten anything today. Link's dad, you got inspired by me and Kanito Pet to make a fan song yourself. Awesome. That's great. Don't, uh, you're torturing yourself to make the perfect thing. If you get stuck, if you, you will get stuck trying to make the perfect thing. Don't worry about perfect. If you watch my stream, I wrote a whole bunch of imperfect stuff, and it's okay. Yeah, perfect does not exist. Perfect is the enemy of done. I just wanted a little bit of lighting on this. Okay. On screen chat froze. That happens. I think after this stream, I'm just going to delete that part of the overlay because it's not, it's not helpful. It's always broken. Knife. Power Fresh, thank you so much for the super chat. This wasn't intentional, but I realized the concept of what I wanted to do for a potential Kanito head song, Kanito song in my head was basically your FNF &F Axolotl song. Oh yeah! <laughs> I forgot I wrote a song about an Al Axolotl. That's funny. That's very funny. Thank you for the super chat, Fresh. Uh, I wrote a song for uh, versus Axolotl, which was a uh, uh, <clears throat> a mod I was writing. A bunch of uh, LSE like Discord members were making. Yeah, Caribou was making it. Hannon, of course you've joined into something strange. You've joined an LSE stream. We're murdering Tercero. <laughs> the song was finished. I don't know if the mod was. 
Um, we're going to posterize this. And, um, then mosaic it. There we go. The knife has been pixelated. And the knife is going to be parented to the hotbar. Let's see, should the hotbar come up first or the knife? I'm not sure. I think the hotbar comes up after. Now we're going to show the house from outside. The hot bar should slowly move down. I agree. That's funny. <laughs> what flavor wings are these? These are garlic parmesan. They're amazing. They're just from our local grocery store. I don't know what they are. Basically spike music. Fun with all your friends here. Those are definitely your friends, but if you had to choose, I know I think received knife is not really readable where it is. Maybe it's down here, maybe it's bigger. Maybe the Windows font would be a better fit. I also have perfect DOS. VHS. Or VCR, rather. I think we're going to use the Windows font. Now we'll stick with Minecraft. But maybe it should be black. Is that more readable? With no drop shadow? This is all Katie Scary. And uh, Factory Flora. <clears throat> if you check the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see the album name in three, two, one. There it is. It'll always show whatever's playing over there. What's up, Night Mist? Make the text white. Make it Canito cover. That's going to be distracting. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think we're good with this scene for now.
and abrupt cut to exterior view of the house. Kinito cover is the most frustrating thing for you all to, color, to call it when I don't know what color Kinito is, because I'm colorblind. Uh, we need grass. Uh, red, green, colorblind, GP. Except let's make this crappy and low poly again. I'm just vibing to this so much. Pink is kind of blue. That's not true from my knowledge, GP. <laughs> Another video popped up over the live stream, but chat is still here. What? What happened? Are we still here? I think I'm still here. <laughs> what song is this? Made Village from Link's Awakening. Oh, I haven't played Link's Awakening forever. Okay, here's the next segment. big nerd core artist just called me on the phone and I had to, <laughs> had to silence the call. Someone I'm working on a sick track with. I'm just going to text him real quick. Is there a mistake, minor or major, that I've made in a music video or lyric due to my colorblindness? Ooh, good question. I don't think I've goofed up recently, like, because I am very, I, I'm very meticulous now about checking the numbers related to colors. Um, so, not recently. We found out I was colorblind because I was coloring people green in, like, kindergarten, and they were like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Is the water? Oh, the waterfall on Play With Me is purple. You're right. Good catch. Good catch. Oh, and there's the time that uh, for Bendy and the Ink Machine, I um, when I did a Bendy song, I, made, I tried to make my profile like black and white, and I made it teal instead. And that's when I learned what teal was, because I didn't know teal was a color. Ba -da 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 -da. Chill penguin, yeah. The best of friends forever till you die, till you die. Cool. Uh, let's export this. 
Life of Carbine people is kind of challenging. I, I honestly don't notice it 90% of the time, I can tell you, which is nice. I'm very thankful for that. As far as, like, things that could be wrong with me, it's, like, the most minor it can be. Um, and I, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, it does come up on occasion, and my wife will laugh at me a lot over something I got wrong. <laughs> but that's about it. If you want to get an idea of what color blindness looks like, I can show you. Hang on. Is seeing anything with teal on it like a massive flashbang to me? So teal just looks white to me, and I'll show you why. Check this out. Okay. Um... Let me just get a color wheel picture in here. Yeah, this works. Okay. So I'm going to put one here. Put one here. And I'm going to show you exactly what things look like to me, at least roughly. So my situation is I have very few red cones. In fact, my red cones are actually tuned more to act like green cones. And here's the thing about red, is if I actually take green and blue out of the equation, you can see red actually accounts for this whole, like, two-thirds of the color wheel, right? The absence of red is what separates yellow from green. So when you take red out of the equation, I actually can't see whether or not it's yellow or green. So watch. If we take green out, or sorry, if we take red out, my bad. Um, I think I have to do it like this. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, and you notice I had to like double check because I wasn't even sure I was doing anything. These look identical to me. Okay. Does that help? Does that help illustrate what I'm working with up here? So it's not so much that I can't see colors. I can still see all the colors. But my color wheel is real messed up. Now, do you notice that this right here... Okay, this actually didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Hang on. Because it should also... There we go. It's more like this, actually. Closer to this, really. Okay, yeah. Because teal, in this situation... I can't quite get it to do it, but if you can understand that teal is the absence of red, you can understand why I can't see teal. Teal looks white to me. These look identical. So this is my situation. And it's okay. I don't mind. I still have a very fulfilling life. I love what I do. And I just happen to think in hex codes when it comes to color, because that's the only way I can really conceptualize them. Best of friends forever till you die. Uh, Adonis, do you happen to have the house model as well? That would be amazing. I'm going to put a big placeholder house here for now. The Mario Screamo song. That was something. The video editing software that had JS compatibility. Um, which one are you talking Like, oh, After Effects? Like, I do a lot of coding in After Effects with JavaScript, if that's what you're talking about. Like, you joke spike music, but that's, like, literally <laughs> how my brain works.
It's a Storm Eagle. Thank you so much, Adonis. You're amazing. You you get those to me, you will absolutely get a shout out in the credits of the video. Oh, at the very least, in like the description. I'll sneak your name in somewhere. Let's add a camera here. Yeah, I, I agree, Gertamushka. I, I truly, I do not consider colorblindness uh, a, a... Disability is not a word I, I think of necessarily with it. Um, except, like... Like, I can't be a pilot. <laughs> That's about the only thing. Uh, we're just going to render out this one shot. Yeah, da, 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 da. Where did this render to? Or a train driver, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know why exactly you need to be able to see perfect color, but I do know it is like actually a thing that I cannot be a pilot due to my color blindness. And I know that because there, it's a like a major plot point in Little Miss Sunshine that a guy finds out that he can't be a pilot and he, he gets really, really, really upset because of that. Can After Effects handle WebP files? Yes, it's a miracle. We realized this last time, but this is Bohemian Rhapsody and also Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah, so uh, that is that is a thing, TJ Mac. Like, green traffic lights look white to me. Um, but it's not an issue because they're always, almost always, in the same place. And the brightness of it looks different from a red light. If red lights were ever switched with yellow only for some reason, I might be in trouble. But... Uh, but I have a feeling like most people would get goofed up by that anyway. What music app do I use? I use um, Pro Tools and Ableton mostly. I had to think about it. I haven't like, <laughs> this isn't a music stream, so I'm not in music mode in my brain. Let's bring Retro Dither in here. And we're going to reduce the resolution by half as well. Uh, Pro Tools and Ableton Live. I, I recommend Ableton Live, JMK. Best of friends forever till you die. Uh, and then we have the fountain section. Adonis, is there any chance you have that? The model for the fountain?
Reaper is also a great option. You're absolutely right. What's my op opinion on the UK's public transport? I, I mean, the buses look cool. I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. You have the model, but it doesn't have... I don't care if it has textures. If you could drop me it, that'd be wonderful. I could work without textures. It's fine. I should come there. You're right. Yeah, if you want to send them to longest solo ever on Discord, go for it. Thank you so much. not letting me see any usernames because there we go <laughs> thank you adonis <laughs> we got it you're the best we're going to import that file now sweet you're the best Adonis. BPMs for the intense... Uh... GP, I don't remember what the BPMs are. I'm sorry. I can tell you there's no, like, uh, like transitions of BPMs. They're all hard cuts. So if you can figure that out. And I can tell you the fast part is, I think, 4 BPM faster than another part. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the house needs up. We're never going to see them in the same shot, though, so don't worry. It's not, like, a big deal. It's not all the same. There's five BPM changes, GP. <laughs> I just need to see what the house or the fountain looks like. Yeah, I think Nice Fighters got it right. Who had the textures? You could send those to me. That'd be amazing. Can't seem to send me a message on Discord? You should be able to. You might have to join the LSE Discord. If you join the LSE Discord, you should be able to from there. Actually... There we go. Unique geese appearance. <laughs> we'll have to sneak Mason in here somewhere. That'd be funny. That would be very funny. Yeah, it is so awesome that y'all help me out with this stuff. I love it. Uh, let's model the little dude running in the meantime. He's easy to make. Will I be making an Indigo Park song? Yes, absolutely. Uh, is it a spherical head that runs towards you? Oh, fuck. What's happening? Who are you? Oh, it's the player character. Yeah, he's totally got a spherical head. Okay.
That's okay, throw away. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've just had so much spam in there lately that we had to have like those those safeguards on. I'm sorry. We're still going. You should still be able to DM me, maybe? Yeah, we'll sneak a rambly painting in there, you're right. get a subdivision surface there we go okay thank you so much Gertamashka thanks for hanging out Okay, uh, quickest, quickest rig. Does it use an image in the game? I thought it was a 3D thing. The screen's gonna be so glitched out, it doesn't matter if it's low poly at this point, to be honest. This is scary, whatever this is. Just no Fortnite. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roof Matt. Oh my god, have I just been renaming the armature this whole time? I'm so stupid. Idiot. The house isn't a model? Okay. work. Leg. Oh, did I goof? Ah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I accidentally... I accidentally everything. Is what I did. Okay, I think we're okay now. There we go. Symmetrized. No, why isn't it working? Damn it. Do it myself. So it doesn't matter if this is good or not. Okay.
Okay, we're good. <laughs> Is it going to be smoothed out or choppy like the OG game? Probably choppy. Probably choppy. Um, I'll show you how we're going to do that. This is where the camera change is going to happen. And this one will be set to here. Okay. Best of friends forever till you die. Till you die. Would you even know if you were into life? Okay. So we're going to see him running in from the distance at this point. Should be over here. Four hour stream? So far, we're going to go another two hours, Randomosity. He's going to start here. He's going to get here. And we're going to see a giant Kanito coming over the hill in the distance when he reaches you. If I made the season change every two beats or something, that'd be really distracting to look at, Frisco. A lot, of, a lot of suggestions people give are things that, like, are cool on their own, but you have to picture them in a big picture. And when you see these things flash by in the span of, like, three seconds, you really need to direct people's attention to something. Okay, cool. Uh, let's... Now, um... What we can do is lock this... to the armature. And now we're just going to animate all this. Hey, later, phase of mine. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, yeah, the black and white filter. We will add that in a second. <laughs> okay, now we just rotate you here. Why are these different? Okay. This is such menacing music. It's really creeping me the hell out. I'm skipping this. <laughs> They're in the general media. Thank you so much, Throwaway. You rock. Yes, you're the best. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. I'm going to use that fish fountain one immediately. Um, what else? How else does the how else do these go on the fountain? Let's see. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like scaly texture here. Oh, it's all in that picture. Sweet. Okay. So we're gonna set this to. I'm just going to open that file I just downloaded. And we also need to push the... Ah, go away. Come on. Also need to push the alpha to here. And set the alpha to... Uh, 
options. Here we go. Blend mode, alpha hashed, alpha hashed. Beautiful. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I feel like we need some water in there. So let's just pick this ring. Oh man, this is such a wildly topologized model. You know what I'm going to do, actually, is cursor to selected. We're going to add our own circle of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. We're going to fill it, and that gets its own material. This is going to be like a transparentish blue. Is there a thing in 90% of amateur and even professional music often overlooks, but makes a huge difference in their mix? Uh, yes, the answer is arrangement, I would say. Like, the choices you make in terms of instruments and what they're playing are so much more important than any frequency EQ stuff you do. Um, and I I've said this before, but like, before we had EQs, before we had mixers even, when you were composing music, you mixed your song by having, okay, I'm going to have the flutes play here and that's going to make it brighter. That's like turning up the treble. I'm going to have uh, the, the trombones play here and that's like turning up the bass. And now we still have those choices to make with arrangement. Uh, are you going to cram everything into the middle range of the keyboard or are you going to spread it out more? You know, the, these choices of arrangement are hugely important. So that would be that would be my one thing I would say. I don't think this is Dire Dire Docs. This is the file select theme. But it sounds like Dire Dire Docs. Okay, Delta. <laughs> Those were words. Cool. Uh, now we're just going to set these to constant. Duplicate them out. And then in between here. No, it's an understandable mistake to make because it really does sound like Dire Dire Docs. this cycle as he's running. Cool. Oh, did I delete his actual movement? Stupid. going on here object transform make a location yep there we go I got it, Night Mist. I'm not sure what was happening. I probably had the wrong thing selected. 
What are we hearing? <laughs> Chow Garden. <laughs> hey, Adonis, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you so much. I don't think what I'm doing is efficient right now. But thank you. I appreciate it. Yosh. Okay, he's gonna then, like, come over to the player and be like, Help me! <laughs> that was good timing. So, Randomosity, the key is that I'm just doing things I'm really excited about anyway. Like, I can't... This is the stuff I would procrastinate the stuff I don't want to be doing with. Like, that's the secret. Okay. Uh, let's bring Kanito in here. Also, if you notice, there's a lot of times that I, like don't do something that I probably should that has more detail in it. Like, people will say, like, oh, you should do this because you got this thing wrong, and I totally agree with you, and yet I don't do it, and that's the that's where my procrastination kicks in. But if you notice, there's a lot of stuff that I could or should have done in videos that would make them more accurate or maybe even better, but I get 80% of the way there because that's all my ADHD will let me do. But it, like, it gets... It gets the song done, and that is the real key. Your brain works in a way that makes you physically unable to do stuff you want. Yeah, executive dysfunction. That's a that, like. There's a word for that. It's uh, it's a it's a huge part of a lot of things. Um. It's certainly a huge part of ADHD. Oops, I just goofed a lot of things up. Okay. There we go. Put him relative to the camera. Yeah, ex executive dysfunction is like one of the most frustrating things uh, you can you can have going on because, like you said, you know exactly what you want to do, and you just don't do it. Cyber's world. This is where he's going to start coming up. Yeah, it's it's incredibly common. It's incredibly frustrating. There's a lot of a lot of ways to work with it and around it. Um, for me, I I lean into what my ADHD wants to do in order to get the momentum going. I look at my to do list and I'm like, okay, which of these things looks at least kind of fun? Can I start there? And when you start something, it's a lot easier to keep going. The hardest part is always just starting something. So start with the single easiest step you can possibly make. Just open Blender and see what happens. You know. This is going to be under so many layers of glitch that I don't think it matters if he has eyes. Cool. Uh, that's this scene. What does the house actually look like when we're when we're looking at it? Because we said there's actually no model for it, right? So when you're walking up to the house, what do we see? Yeah, it just takes forever for the model. 
Yeah, I will add some more hills and stuff. We need trees too, right? Yeah, so let's expand out this uh, landscape situation a little bit. We're going to subdivide it a lot. Scale it up a lot. And then subdivide it again a lot. And now we're going to add some hills just according to the angles we're actually going to see things in. So let's see, the first angle we see the house from is here. So let's add some hills in the background of the house. We don't actually need to build out this whole terrain, right? We really just need anything we might actually see. So here's a little bit of a hill. Here's another hill in the distance. One over here. Cool. And that's sufficient, right? And then we go to the reverse angle. And that stuff is over here. Let's make a big hill in the distance. You can see how easy it is to do this stuff, right? Uh, water bottles. You're timed out for a day. I'm sorry. That's like the third time you've done this. <laughs> do i have any ways of pulling yourself through working on something um so first off i can i can say uh the channel healthy gamer on youtube like healthy gamer gg highly highly recommend this channel it's a, a wonderful wonderful channel Dr. K is such a smart dude. Um, how do you enable proportional editing in Blender again? Letter O. So that, that channel's helped a lot. I go to one of their coaches, which is really awesome. I also have a therapist. Um, and I also have a psychiatrist for my meds. I see a lot of people. I get a lot of help. It's good. Uh, but yeah, as for like specific things I use to get me through the executive dysfunction... It helps that it's my job. It helps that I have to do it, right? Um, I try to stay organized. I try to be very aware of my needs mentally. Like I can tell when I'm approaching burnout and I will take the foot off the gas a little bit. Um, I can tell also when I have like a lot of energy and I will work a lot then. It is, it is really so much about knowing yourself and what you what you can and can't handle work-wise and also what's stopping you like when you really think about it when you really think about like okay why aren't i working on a song right now why aren't i doing this thing i need to be doing figure out what feeling is actually stopping you figure out like oh i'm not working on this because i'm worried if i write something bad that this will happen you know i'm worried that uh if i show people then this will happen and then you got to interrogate that feeling and be like okay is that a legitimate fear? Is that a reason I shouldn't do this thing? Usually, it's not. And when you can really interrogate something and get to the bottom of it, a lot of the time, it will dissipate in that situation. Is that's not streamlined very well? So, fr Fresh, you, like, don't worry about that too much. Like, I have to streamline because I need to put out X amount of songs in a year uh, so I can, like, eat and pay rent. Um, you are not in that situation. So your only goal is just to do what is fun for you right now, to find the fun in it, and then optimize. Then optimize from there. Hey, I'm glad to hear it, Rainbow Waffles. What's up, Shwoo? Oh, we didn't actually model the house the way it should look, right? What does it look like? Oh, you built me a. Okay. 
let's just um save our house here and we're just going to look at the house and see if we can model it according roughly to that image you got a house obj it's in the oh thank you so much throw away i didn't see that oh you just dropped another one is that better We'll try them both. We'll try the OBJ. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there it is. Perfect. I wonder what the texture situation on this is. Oh, we've got these. Okay. I'm downloading all the textures you sent. Thank you so much, Throwaway. You're amazing. Okay, let's see if we can match up textures to where they should be. Uh, how many materials did this come in with? Just one? Okay. Let's see what happens when we add wood. <laughs> okay, looks like there's like siding and stuff. Are there like groups or anything we could reference? All right, I'm going to try the other file and just see if that comes in. And so we don't have to, um, so we don't have to handle all these materials ourselves. Okay, looks like we're going to have to do this from scratch. That's okay. I do not mind that. Is there any chance only some of these are linked to each other? Kind of. Cool. Okay, sweet. We got the siding there. Okay. Then we can do this. We can do this. Here's the wood material. Here's the siding. And this is just... Uh, I think we did get an image for this, right? I think that's this house siding material. And then we have the roof material as well. Hatsune Miku's here. What's up, Miku? I'm a big fan. <laughs> There's our roof. And then these are all windows. Cool. Uh, this needs to be alpha hashed, though. And then here's the smiley face. Gotta have the smiley face. What possessed him to put a big silly smiley face in front of this? Troy. Madman. 
And we're only going to really see the house from one angle, so I don't need to do all of it, but that's pretty good. Are we close now, do we think? There's like a fence across the front. I am a big fan of Hatsune Miku. I think Vocaloids are so cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, that works. Sweet. That is awesome. Thank you again, Throwaway. You're awesome. Okay, so we can delete this house. And this one, make this real tiny. Now we're just going to place this where it needs to go. Any tips on dealing with imposter syndrome? Uh, if I if I if I ever figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> like, really, honestly, I truly hate to say it. I it does not go away. Um the, the only thing you can do is again just continually interrogate it. Um like constantly ask. And I, these are questions I constantly ask myself, and I'm not saying you should ask these questions because we're in different situations, but like when you're feeling like an imposter about a thing, um, like if I'm feeling like, okay, here's an example. I have been scared to message people for collabs. I've been scared to uh, charge for things when people want to work with me. And the question I have to ask myself is like, okay, why wouldn't they want to work with me? I am in the same tier of musician as them. Uh, or if they asked to work with me, why wouldn't they want to pay me? They're clearly an artist big enough that they're paying people for the work they do. So I should be able to charge what I'm I'm worth. You know, like those are, that's all you can do about imposter syndrome is just keep asking it. Like, is what I'm thinking actually the case? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I thinking this? <laughs> That is all you can do. Where's your song about Home Depot? They already wrote like the best theme song you could ever write about it. I wouldn't dare touch it. Uh, I'm hoping we finish the, the whole music video in the next two days, Crystal Gaming. Okay. Let's bounce this out. Pull it back into After Effects. Yeah, the song's out already. I'm not leaking anything. <laughs> I do typically leak things on my stream, but no, there's nothing to leak right now. Uh, this guy we're going to add in, in, Blender, in After Effects. Don't worry. It's on this end of things. Wait, the sky! I know. <laughs> Power Fresh, thank you. You're going to try an FL and Reaper setup. That's a good combo. Like, yeah, that's kind of like my Ableton Pro Tools setup. Um, I like how Ableton handles MIDI, uh, and I don't like editing i also don't enjoy mixing in ableton um so yeah like using different dots for different parts of your process is super super legit i do that all the time Help me. <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, I actually want this shot a little darker. There we go. What's the plan for Friday's stream? I think we're gonna just like work on this every day, this whole weekend. Best of friends forever till you die. Uh, in this sky, we're gonna use different parts of it for different shots here. I'm gonna fix that color situation, don't worry. Okay. And this one will be over here. So it just looks like two different skies. Even though it's just the same image moved a little bit. Okay, there we go. Best of friends forever. <laughs> I forgot it does that, I'm sorry. Best of friends forever till you die. Till you, till you die. Okay. Let's start putting this together in the master timeline. Because we have a few shots we can work with now. Uh, namely, we can at least put these like two, like six and six B together. Oops. How do I drag you out of a folder, please? Thank you. Here we go. Fun with all your friends here. I'm just lining up the waveforms. Yeah, Reaper is an incredible DAW. Music software. Gonna let it sync that up. Your friends here, those are definitely your friends, but if you had to choose, I know you you leave. I know you leave them all behind, cause we're the best of friends. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do drag the body across the floor. These are just like rough shots. We're gonna we're gonna clean these up as we go. But I want to block out like as much of this video today in the next two hours that we can do. Oh, we're gonna do more screen effects. Don't worry. We'll do we'll do a rough one real quick. We'll do a very rough one real quick. Uh. R asked how I get the AI voice for Kinito. I trained it on like Microsoft Sam using uh, an app called RVC running on my graphics card. Teletubby's son, except instead of a baby, it's Kinito's fit. That's pretty funny, Spike. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're going to start introducing some of the pixel sort stuff. Uh, except I'm not going to make it that extreme, extreme so we can still see Kanito here. Oh, 
And right here, we will add the threshold effect. Uh, it's called pixel sorting, and it's the coolest effect ever. I used it a lot on No More, and a lot since then. Uh, we can add signal here too. And then finally hit transform, which we'll put in before the pixel sort, maybe? And we'll make it just jitter a lot here. Hey, I'm glad to help. Like, truly, that's why I do these streams, is so you learn things to steal for yourself. Stealing is good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's give it a second to load this. This is a really intensive effect that takes its time. It's it's literally the thumbnail of one of my b videos, Silent Banana. Like, stealing is... It's okay to steal. <laughs> There's a great book called Steal Like an Artist that's worth reading as well. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I want more of a drastic zoom. Okay, that works for now. Good. Hey, I hope you feel better, Lazy Flare. Kinito Gritty Anime. I will learn what a gritty is and then then make Kanedo do it. Yes, I will. Okay, let's start making this threshold, or this pixel sorting thing happen a little sooner. Oh yeah, the scream layered vocals thing I got from Tryhard Ninja. I mean, that's, like, I don't think Tryhard Ninja was the first to do it, but that's where I saw it laid out in tracks when he sent me the These Halls See All bridge. I was like, oh, layering like screaming and singing like that works really well. I'm going to do exactly that. And then I put out Overthrown doing exactly that. Yeah, I mean, people say ridiculous things all the time like that, Oxica. Like, there is no, there are no rules in music. Like, as long as you're not breaking copyright law, don't, like, like, take as much inspiration as you can. Do not feel like you have to do everything from scratch. Um, drag the body across the floor is the next line. Okay, so here's what I have for this one. Carrying a wagon across a checkerboard landscape, which flickers as you look back at the wagon to show the body you're dragging instead. Oreo, what's up? You walk in at that line? Of course. <laughs> How you doing, Oreo? I am going to model the body bag. It is not going to be hard. It's a weird rectangle, Azrael. Uh, Oreo, let me show you what, you what we got at the beginning here. Here's where we're starting out. Oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking me up. We'll be the best of friends. Together till the very end. I'd like to know everything that there is to know about you now. So I can be your one and only friend. That's, that's what we spent the morning on. Uh, and then we have this next section here. This is going to take a second to load. I'll drop it to half quality. Uh, I'm going to put everyone's, fa like all my team members on here. Fun with all your friends here. Those are definitely your friends. But if you had to choose... Forever till you die, till you die. Would you even know if you were in the So that's that's what we did today. That's what we did in like five hours. 
<laughs> but I think it's going to speed up from here. A lot of the day was spent like learning how to make, uh, learning how we made those assets, like all the uh, the friggin' window assets are all made. They're all HTML code. That took some while, some some time to figure out. Yeah, we've been here five hours. Also, the first hour of the stream just did not function. So that was that was part of the problem. Flicker a burn on the house till you die. That's pretty. That's good. Semi supervised. I will do that. Thank you, Oreo. You working on anything fun? Uh, we're gonna make this checkerboard landscape area next. Yeah, it's all HTML and CSS. It's a CSS uh, setup called 98.css. Check this out. Just search 98.css and it'll come up. Like literally just you type button and it will it'll be there. It's cool. Your Kenito Fett song's coming this weekend. Awesome. I didn't I didn't want to tell anybody about it, but yeah, I I heard it. Or what what really happened was I told the story that you told me like what Kenito Pet was, and then you told me not to play it on stream under any circumstances. <laughs> but what I didn't tell them in the context of was you saying like, "Hey, I want to make a Kenito voice. How do you do that?" Um, and so we talked about like vocal synths and stuff for a while. Uh, and then you were like, "I'm working on a Kenito Pet song," and I was like, "Oh, what's that?" <laughs> and then looked that up, and then speed ran a Kenito Pet song because I could not stop myself. So thank you, thank you for giving me the heads up, Oreo. We, we all have Oreo to thank for everlasting fun, everybody. Yes, I can't wait to I can't wait to hear the final version. I heard the demo you made last week of your song, and it's beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited. Royale Five's going well. We uh, Royale Five, not we. I'm not in it. But Royale Five, they're a cool band, and um, <laughs> they have a Bling Bang Bang Born cover this weekend, so y'all should check that out. We got a lyric video of it, Pizza Roll Over. This is gonna be like a music video. Yeah, go go check out the Royal Five Blink Bang Bang Born channel. Uh, channel the Royal Five channel because the Blink Bang Bang Born cover is going to be there. That's going to be awesome. What's my stream background playlist? It is. Uh, I should post it publicly. I think it is technically public on my. Yeah, it is technically public. If you go to my my um. Playlist, but I'll just post it there. Haxalua, I, I am not going to comment on that. I just... And truly, the, like... I don't have anything informative or interesting, and I am not informed enough to say anything helpful on the situation. What I can say is I'm not interacting with any Mandela Catalog stuff for the time being. Uh, it was certainly, um, certainly gave me a good reason to start thinking about my own analog horror series. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not one to like pass judgment in the internet court of law when I, I just like, there's no, there's no good that comes from me saying anything, you know? It's cool. It's, I mean, it's like a, I, I certainly was thinking about it last week, and I was very happy to hear about Canito Pet being something else I could make a song about. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Lazy Flare, and I hope you feel better. I fully stole Oreo's idea, 100%. <laughs> I will not argue this. Okay, 
So we're going to have it kind of like walking forward throughout this whole section. Okay, there we go. Why does the camera keep looking like, like what's happening here? There we go. What's my fallback plan if hypothetically my music career didn't exist or collapses? What are, what's my other career? So, I mean, I was a music teacher for... Why does this keep happening? What's happening here? <laughs> um, is this view locked to something? No. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, if, if I did not have a music career, I'd probably still be teaching music. I could always go back to teaching music if I have to. Um, I have a lot of computer skills and could do that as well. But most importantly, why is the chat frozen? Because it does that sometimes, that's why. Um, but most importantly, I have already a pretty diverse, uh, series of income streams. Like, if YouTube ad revenue was my only income stream, I'd be in real trouble because YouTube could just delete my account in an instant as we've seen happen with so many creators right but i have youtube i also have spotify and all the other digital distributors so the chances of both of those things disappearing at once are pretty slim um in addition to that, i have quick start music uh i i have like commissions that i do for people mixing and stuff like i any one of those boats can sink and i will still be 80 percent okay and the chances of multiple boats sinking at once is pretty slim, which is nice. Sweet. Why does this keep happening? Like, what is happening that causes my camera to do that? <laughs> Thanks, Team 3D. I enjoy thinking about that lack of viewers. <laughs> I don't know why people think that's helpful to tell people, but it doesn't feel great. How long does it take for these songs to be made normally? Literally anywhere between like two days and four weeks. I don't know. Okay, this works. Cool. Isn't having consistent viewers better than random spikes? Absolutely. Uh, you say most people go to Twitch to watch live, but believe it or not, there are far more live viewers on YouTube than there are on Twitch semi-supervised. On the order of like 10 times more. The the idea that Twitch is where live stream happens is, is a big, big fallacy. Okay. Why does it keep, like, does anyone know why that keeps happening? <laughs> What happens here? What is it that causes this to happen? Something goofy going on and I don't know what it is. Camera love floor and I don't know why. But the thing is, it's not actually doing that. Like, the camera isn't moving there, just my view is, and I don't get it. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> it's very frustrating, but it's okay. I also don't know why, what is that extension out there? Like, what does that number signify? 
Um, is that my focal point or something? No. What is that? Like, what am I looking at? There's got to be... Oh, is it that? Is that why? I think that... Okay, whatever that setting was, was kind of... Do I just have fun moving the Kinito rig? Of course, of course I enjoy that. Nope, that wasn't it. Damn it. Unless he's saying goofy is insane. Why? It's been a word for a very long time. <laughs> is that some, like, Gen Alpha lingo I'm not supposed to be privy to? Like, it's been the name of a Disney character for a hundred years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, scratch it. I am going to worry about it. I'm going to delete that object because it's so infuriating. Seems like maybe we have fixed the issue for now. Uh, we're just going to key location for now. Hey, later, Night Mist. Any tips for starting songs? Just, just... And they, like, literally... I hate that this is the advice, but just do it. Okay, I truly cannot tell you why this is happening. It's super infuriating to me. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why would this be happening? I'm going to close Blender and reopen it. When in doubt. Uh, the white icon next to your name, it means you're a, like a new member. Blender may just hate me now. Okay. It seems like that was the issue and, uh, like, closing and reopening Blender fixed it. When in doubt, turn it off and back on again. Teens Lingo is timeless. He'll say the most knowledgeable thing ever and then follow it up with something incredibly stupid. That's my brand. That's just my brand, you know? Uh, let's make this a hallway of sorts. What just happened to Blender? So for some reason it was forcing the camera like into the ground every five seconds in a really weird way. And I don't know why. Um, I would love for this to be... Um, the maze screensaver. What did that look like? Can we get that brick texture for the walls? <laughs> When will I release the Kinito? I, like, some kid, we've been streaming this whole time. I've been, I haven't been not on stream. <laughs> You've been waiting. You're not owed anything, some kitten. What have you done to deserve it? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, that's such an entitled thing to say. Like, when have we, I've been waiting for this. Like, who are you? <laughs> I said I might release it. I know, I said I might. I've been on stream this whole time. We've been working. <laughs> I know I already made it, but like it necessitates like packaging into a thing that I can drop on the server. <laughs> you know? Davey, you made, got all 7k all summer. Hell yeah, awesome. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be like harsh on that, some kitten, but just like it, uh. Hey, 
Jacob Boy is super, Davey. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Davey. There we go. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's very good. Where's Hyper Chat? You need you need seven. You need to capture the the collect the seven super emeralds for that. Who's at my front door? What's currently being worked on? This is a scene where we're dragging a wagon through a hallway. And then it's going to flash to the body bag in like the creepy, uh, like photorealistic space instead. How long do these music videos usually take to make? I don't know. <laughs> Enough time. <laughs> okay, let's make a wagon. What's up, words? Um, what the hell happens under a wagon? I guess wheels, right? <laughs> that's that's pretty standard, Vinicius. Those are rookie numbers. I think someone actually is working on that, uh, uh, Chicks Chicksrlix, Charlie. How do you want me to pronounce that? Um, yeah, someone on the Discord, on the like Kinito Pet Discord, has definitely made that. Oops. Okay, so this should be wagon. It's going to be red. Cute little red wagon. This will be the wheel. There's a wagon wheel. And the color will be any way you feel. Anyone old enough to get that joke? Here we go. Hey, thanks, Slum Kitten. I, I truly don't think of myself as talented. I just have a lot of fun doing a lot of random things. And I do that a lot. And I never let I don't know how to do that stop me from doing something. Because I'm not actually good at this. I'm just, like, I just don't let not being good at something stop me. <laughs> Is this what a wagon looks like? I don't know what a wagon looks like. This is what like a radio flyer looks like. Okay, so there's like struts connecting the wagon to the wheels that we need to get in there. I knew something felt off. I'm going to delete those other wheels. There we go. Okay. On average, how nerdy am I? All the way. <laughs> like, all of it. I write songs about video games and anime, and I 
code and make like design music videos for them like all of it <laughs> just all the nerdy I literally compose music in a genre called nerdcore It is one of the best genres. Uh, how do you make the handle for this? a solid wagon thank you it's a silly little thing but it's mine hey d.mp4 thank you so much for the super chat nerdcore for life yes Okay, that's a wagon handle. Oh. Sweet. You can like Super Chats now. That's interesting. Thank you for the Super Chat, D.MP4. Oh, this center part is way too wide, though, right? Um... D.MP4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a... Or Dan, Daniel. That's a sentence. Thank you for that. <laughs> that is a sentence. I'm, all, I'm excited for the official Kinito merch. It's going to be awesome. Okay, there's our little wagon. That's gonna come with us. Oh, let's find the camera. It needs to be a pretty reasonable size for us to be dragging it. Imagine Kinito with the nerd glasses sometimes. Yes. Okay. Camera's gonna look back at the ca at the wagon, and it'll flash into the body bag. Let's just edit this a little bit. Uh, it's going to flash to be the body bag instead on the floor as you look back. Uh, okay, we're going to bounce out the section of the song that we want to use for this. Uh, that's just right here, right? Yeah, a little earlier than that.
how much uh okay I'll show you what's inside look to your other screen cool that is where this segment will end so section seven uh hallway body Um, inside window and uh, I have to specify that because there's going to be multiple nested sections for this How'd I do the Kinito voice? It's uh, Microsoft Sam text-to-speech. I trained an AI on it, and then I ran my singing through the AI. Using RVC, yeah. Same way I did Code Red with Fatal Error's voice. You're good, some kid, and you're good. Uh, so we're going to auto keyframe the rotation, and I'll perform this just like I did the other scene. Uh, I use Adobe After Effects for compositing like animations and visual effects together, and for animating 2D stuff. And then I use Resolve to do the final edit, and I edit all my videos in Resolve. Okay, that turn needs to happen faster. Okay. Whoops. Whatever <laughs> button I pushed really screwed me up there. Your cat lost another. T I'm so sorry, Davy. I hope your cat's doing okay. Uh, actually, I want to perform a very specific thing here because we're going to have other stuff going on in here. Okay. Cool. And that's the end of this section. We have to, uh, I goofed up in terms of, okay, I can copy location without copying rotation. That works, that works. So we're gonna do copy location, target the camera. Um, in our local space, in its local space, I think. How does this work? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, this is slightly better. Um, we're going to use it as an offset. Just slightly to your side here. Uh, I do not know them, Chio CRT. I've seen you say that a bunch of times that I should make a song with Fatal and Kanito. I probably won't. <laughs> but maybe. 
Okay. How we're going to do this is we're going to have um, the checker world, and then we're also going to have a separate world. That's the, um, where is this? Okay. I need like a stone floor. Or like concrete, probably. Like really dirty concrete. This is pretty good. This world was made for me. It was made for two. Uh, I do not still do FNF covers. Oh, I heard I heard more of those songs came out, Davey. I gotta check those out. I'm worried I'm not gonna be particularly interested, I'll be honest. Uh, I really want a portion of this to be like a really gross, rusty color. So what we're going to do is add a color ramp in here and make a short band in the middle here. Uh, oh wait, actually, no, sorry. What we're going to do, I forgot how this works. I'm going to make a noise texture, a mix color. I forget how this works. I don't have I don't have the brain for this right now. This is sufficient. Let's get uh we can just use this texture for the walls for now too. Hey Artemis, hope hope your uh, hope your night gets less stressful. Writing your thesis, good luck. Good luck with that. Uh, and this one's going to be very dimly lit, I think. Like nine new songs we're giving snippets. Wow, that's a lot of F and F. We're just going to kind of give... We'll make this look creepier as we go. I just want to, like, uh, get the general idea here. What's the body bag look like? I saw it on Spriter's Resource. There was, like, a full-res version of it. Um...
There it is. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to be real lazy with your, your rendering. Watch this. Or with your modeling. Um, okay, so we're going to start with a cube. Because everything's really a cube when you think about it. I, I have not played Pizza Tower. We're just going to pull in that image I just saved. And what I'm going to do is just reference as we go. It seems like it gets wider here. It does feel a little... It's something. <laughs> oh, it's way too... Okay, now we're going to bevel these edges. Yosh, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, I'm so glad that helped. That's like the whole reason I do this is so people can feel more confident and have more fun in what they're doing with music. Like, I'm so glad to hear it. And thank you so much for the super chat, Yosh. You're awesome. I'm really glad to hear it. I'm kind of, so try subdividing. I'm actually going with more of like a bevel approach which is going to give me a lot more control over exactly what it sh shakes out to be. Yeah. You get it. You get me. We just had a little weird overlap there. Oh, this works. What's my favorite video game? Right now it's Celeste. I really love Celeste. Um, I will make a Hero Brian song if it's really relevant, like maybe for the Minecraft movie or something. But I don't necessarily think so. So I I love Celeste, but I don't think what I actually makes sense for my brand necessarily. Uh okay, check this out. I'm gonna get so 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 lazy. You're gonna love this. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to do the best texturing ever. Uh, what was that file called? 219816. Okay. So we're going to take this, and I'm literally just going to overlay the actual image as the texture. Of course I'm doing what I, what you think I'm doing. Uh, we're going to do project from view. And then we'll rotate this like that. And now we're just going to roughly line things up, generally speaking. The textures are all just distorted saw waves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I could, I would. And we all know that, right? There we go. It's upsetting how well that worked, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so if you want to... um. If you want to get more of that, 
I highly, highly recommend. Um, this video. World Building in Blender with Ian Hubert. Ian Hubert is an amazing, amazing digital, like, 3D artist and VFX artist. He's so, so, so cool. And his whole technique is, like, stealing textures like this. And he talks about just, like, pulling in an image and then just, like, extrapolating it out into this whole, like, 3D object. Watch, watch what he does here. This is insane. He just, just, like, mixes these images and just kind of kit bashes it together into 3D objects. He goes so crazy with it. Like, just watch, watch what he does with this image of a storefront here. This is one image that he's extracting and like extruding and chopping up and making into a 3D object just from this image. He's, he's just the king. Go watch Ian Hubert's channel. He's so, so, so cool. So yeah, we have a body bag. We're going to drag it across the floor. Uh, I think it needs one more edge loop here. There we go. That feels, that feels right now. What's the best program? To, I mean, it's Blender by, by a billion miles. There's nothing that comes close to Blender, especially on the free end of things. I mean, you have like your industry standards like Maya and stuff, but... Like, for free stuff, Blender is it. Blender's the only option you should ever even consider. I didn't really get the head right, did I? <laughs> like, there really needs to be a distinct head there, huh? That's better. Uh, and a potato will probably go about another hour. And the body does need to be on the floor. Okay, now we're going to uh, also parent this one. Oh, I forgot to shoot. Okay. Um, we're going to have to move this again. It's okay. Are there a whole bunch of them back there on the floor? <laughs> what are those doing there? Uh, I've actually never seen the Simpsons movie Random Dry Bones. I'm sorry. I really should have. Okay, now here I have, and this is this is one hell of a note. Um, so in this section, I want to do the uh, whatever Jade's thing is, whatever Jade's minigame is. Where's she at? Here we go, with the conveyor belt. I want to have little 3D conveyor belts on either side, and I want just little, like, like... 2D weirdcore image is of my head like singing the line on the conveyor belt. That's what I want. Um, so we're going to grab the sprites from this section. Oh yeah, we need blood on the floor. You're right. I'll, I'll do that later. I'll figure that out. I want to get as much done in the next bit as I can so we can have like a whole sequence we can watch. 
Um, let's see. Ready repair. Uh, do we not have Jade in here? They just didn't rip the textures for Jade? Hey, later, Yosh. You need Geese is here? What's up, Geese? We are, we are still referencing your... <laughs> your stream. Oh, we have this, though. That's helpful. We have the toys. Uh, we don't have the conveyor belt. I would love to have an image of this conveyor belt. That's okay. We can work with this. Um, this is probably about, say, 128 pixels high. Okay, and what's really going on here is we just have this rectangle. How many YouTube pay me for making videos? So YouTube pays you based on the number of views you get. Um, and on average, I get about uh, one to two dollars per thousand views. If that helps. Hey, later, Adonis. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for all your help, Adonis. You've been incredibly helpful with this. Uh, the Kanito song, so far I've made probably... If I'm doing the math correctly, maybe two, three hundred bucks off Kanito song. Like, not a lot yet, but it adds up over time, which is what's the real key. Ten views giving me one cent, roughly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty normal for, like, online streaming. One to two dollars is decently good for thousands. So, no. One to two dollars is actually terrible. <laughs> and the reason is uh, because, by and large, you guys are young. Um, and that does not bode well for actually streaming revenue. Like, if I if my made content that appealed primarily to rich old white guys, I would make so much more money. Like, finance and real estate videos, you can get 40 bucks per thousand views literally 40 you know 20 to 40 times what i make um statistically speaking you are not going to be spending as much money on the advertisements as rich old white guys are uh just like the way statistically speaking like how often are you clicking ads and buying uh you know investing ten thousand dollars in stocks probably not super often i'm not um so like that is why the what we call the RPM, the revenue per thousand views, uh, is lower for me versus a creator who makes like yeah investment content for sure. Uh, next thing I want to do, I'd like to just put a little bit of a gradient over this to kind of bake in some shading.
Canito Pet, I can see you in the chat saying that. <laughs> it's not a big surprise. I can read chat, just like everyone else. <laughs> Mike Gino, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, we're definitely about to do something with this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, right here is where the weird conveyor belts are going to happen. I just need to widen these walls a little bit. Okay, so let's put one here. And... We're going to now model this out a little bit, uh, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Which is... Uh, there we go. I'm just going to make some cuts where they make sense for this image. And then we delete what we're not using. Am I aware of the figure behind? Yeah, he's always there. I try not to worry about him. We call him chair. <laughs> okay. The green bits? Yeah, yeah, they are. Don't worry. We're getting there. There we go. Uh, I wish that texture came with it, though. Let's fix that. We're going to go into our UV editor. We're going to reproject these. There we go. You found my first video? That's exciting. <laughs> Almost just want to model this from scratch. Like, having this image did not help me at all. <laughs> it's really annoying. So what I'm going to do instead is just make a new uh, plane. And we're just going to model around this in general. I was trying to use that strategy, but I'm not as good at it as he is. So. <laughs> 
add a phrase that says today you'll never escape out reality. No. Because <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And also the song's already done, Canito Pet. What's up, Victini? Any tips on Blender? Uh, like, watch all the Blender tutorials you can find. Just every single one. Um, they're all very, very, very helpful. Yeah, Kenito Pet. Have you not, like, paid attention to my channel in the last week? Get with the program, Kenito Pet. <laughs> About your own song. You're not a very good Kenito pet if you missed that. You're not my best friend anymore. What kind of best friend doesn't listen to a song their friend makes about them? I made a song for you because you're my best friend, but you didn't listen to it. So clearly, we are on different pages of the best friend code. <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining in, Wilbin. Well, then maybe those other servers and YouTubers are your best friend, not me, Kanito. Okay, now we have a wave texture, that's good. And... What OBS plugins do I use to make this overlay? There's a uh, there's one called Waveform, that is the visualizer you're hearing below. And that's about it as far as plugins go. I coded the overlay stuff at the bottom, like from scratch. Um, and uh, that's about it. Excuse me. Chat broken. I didn't make the chat widget. <laughs> I won't take credit for that. I won't take the blame for that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, We're going to animate this. Uh, yeah, cool. Hey, later, Hack Crafter. Thank you. We have a body dragging across the floor already, Nairo. Two bodies in one scene is too many. <laughs> 
Uh, and I'll clean up what this looks like in a bit. Does YouTube give you control of the topic channel? No, it does not, Haxlua. <laughs> It's okay. It's an okay conveyor belt. It's not great. Um, we need some photos of my head to put on the screen, so we're going to do that in a second. Hang on. Okay, good. Uh, you get to see at the bottom all the LSC2 thumbnails I've shot in this photo booth app. <laughs> just stupid face, just like... <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, okay, so we need... We need images of me singing here. Um, and I guess actually what we need is a video of you're doing great. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, all we need is you're doing great. Like this. It's gonna be so upsetting to look at, I'm sorry. You're doing great. Just getting some different faces to use. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever thought about streaming on Twitch? I've talked about it a lot. I don't ever want to stream on Twitch, unknown. Because uh, there, there's a lot of reasons why that is not a good idea. You're doing great. <laughs> Just played back the video. Okay. Um, in short, reasons to stream on YouTube instead of Twitch. One, Twitch takes half the money people donate. Literally 50-50 split of everything people donate. They take half of it. Um, YouTube takes 30%, which is a lot less. Uh, second, there's actual discoverability on YouTube. When I'm streaming, people can just stroll in and find it. Uh, if you're not one of the top creators on Twitch, you are much less likely to get any views whatsoever. Um, third, infinite VOD storage. You can view my lives from years and years ago for free. Uh, Twitch does not have free, does not have infinite VOD storage, even for partners, I think, like there's a limit, which is crazy. Um, and, uh... On top of that, there's just far more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. So why would I go to the place with less viewers that makes me that takes that takes more of my money and will not store my videos for free? Uh, there's no reason I could think of to stream on Twitch instead. Uh, Shipwreck sixty four song, probably not. I wouldn't say never, but probably not. Uh, Calamity again. Yeah, I know. Well, I wrote it before Tears of the Kingdom came out, Glow Shroom, so that's why. Mouth. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, this is something I haven't done in a while. We're going to try roto brushing my head out. I really should have lit it properly for this. Let's see how it does. So it's going to try to cut my head out with this. I actually don't want my neck in this either. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, God. It's so bad. I love it. <laughs> these are so goofy. We're going to need to fix some of these. Because it's catching this part of my chair. What the hell have you joined back to? Stardust, are you really surprised? <laughs> wow. 
Oh, the horror. Dear God. You're doing great. Okay. Want to specify that is not part of my head. You're doing this is the most Omega Flowey stuff you've done yet. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. Keep my head, please. Okay. There we go. You're doing great. Yes, I did like making it. <laughs> okay, that's most of what we need from this shot anyway. I think I can freeze it now. I can lock it. Are you surprised, Callie? Are you surprised in the least? New Discord emoji. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? You're doing great. You're doing great. That's perfect. That's perfection. What is the worst video game? I think Crazy Bus or E.T. are probably the best rankers. Uh, we're going to throw... Put this in draft mode. That's horrifying. Love it. Uh, and then we're going to put Retro Dither on this. Oh, yeah. It's worse. I love it. Super good. Now this just looks like Doom. Okay. So the for full information... Um... In Doom, <laughs> like, there, one of the, one of the final bosses inside its head is John Romero's, John Romero's head uh, impaled on a stake, and you have to shoot it with a rocket launcher to beat the game. So this is very Doom. Before it was Omega Flowey, it was Doom. You're doing... Yeah, this is horrifying. I love it. You're doing great. You're, you're... About 32 colors. Will we see a little better? I really want my eyes to pop. <laughs> so I might actually make this larger. This music is so scary. It's from Bloodborne. That's why. You're doing great. Okay, that's pretty good. What does 12 FPS look like? You're doing great. Oh, it didn't it didn't roto brush at that size? Okay. You're doing great. Perfect. Uh that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> we are exporting just the head. Just whenever you whenever you need a little 
Whenever you need a little pick-me-up, just watch the creepy Dean head say you're doing great. He was super outpost. Okay, okay. Hang on, let me, um... <laughs> okay. That's a good frame. That's a good frame. <laughs> uh, I just put it in the Discord for anyone who wants to play with it. Okay, now here we are going to put... You're doing great. It's going to be an animated image sequence. Davey, thank you so much for the super chat. I wasn't even expecting that. I didn't do it for that, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, now we need to set... A, this needs to be larger. And constantly looking directly at you. You're boring, Acelia. <laughs> it is awful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we need to set this to start at frame 147. Right here. Why is it so shiny? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, that's insanity. Okay, hang on. This is a fever dream. That's where I live, folks. It does go to hollow purple after all, after the end of it. I know. Um, it should just... I can make it cyclic. I guess. Can I make it not play that fast? I guess I can hand animate this. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to hand animate this keyframe. Okay, so we're going to start the keyframe here. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, it's so bad. I love it. I love it. Hi, Fresh. <laughs> Did you just walk in? It's good timing. Do I just wing it when animating? I wing it when I do anything, Haxlua. Absolutely anything at all. <laughs> this is probably the most surreal thing I've ever done, and I like that. I like this a lot. I'm glad you're doing great, Callie. Okay, so this thing should be, uh, this whole situation. What am I, what do I have selected right now? This is the body bag. This is the concrete floor. This is the concrete walls. Oh, I'm going to dither this to hell, don't worry. This is the conveyor. And that's you're doing great. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, then we're going to render both of these and then snap back and forth between them. Uh, I think actually the conveyor belt and you're doing great are in... Um, I think they're in checker world, not in concrete world. But it's only going to be there after we come back. So these are actually not going to be visible until this point. So we're going to render both of these now. Um, first will be checker layer. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to, I'm going to like redo these and make it look a lot more detailed. I just want vibes for now. Um, and the other one will be concrete layer. I'm glad to hear it, Tarsara. I hope, I hope you're feeling better, man. Yosh. I know I've been streaming for six hours. Okay. This is gonna go to um, 07 hallway. And in this, we're gonna have 07 hallway A checker. And also 07 hallway B concrete. We have two separate layers that are each going to be rendering simultaneously. And if I hit this button, we will see absolute darkness. Perfect. I love it. It's good. That's what I want. That's because I don't have any lights on either of those, do I? <laughs> nope. Not really. So let's add some lights. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to add some sunlight. 
Oh, right. There can't be any sunlight in here. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, this is Blender. This is my show. Don't copy. Uh, and I'm going to light this better as we go. Don't worry. Just like, um, this is good enough for now. All of this is very placeholder. Okay, so if I render this, yeah, we should see this. And also the body bag in the other layer. Okay, awesome. I'm now going to hit render. And it should make... All of those happen. I hope I didn't just render over the house exterior section. I'm going to make sure I didn't, because I probably did. Yeah, damn it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we'll re-render that real quick. That's fine. Uh, yeah, instrumental will probably drop this week or next week. Three hours longer than it needed to be? Why, Delta? It needed to be exactly as long as I wanted it to be. You didn't have to stay this whole time. Okay, there we go. Let's bounce. Let's put on Green Hill Funk. Can I make the final scene to new? I know you said that like five times in a row. I don't know. The final scene's going to be whatever it needs to be. I don't think this ends happily for the player, though, typically. Like, Kanito wins in this, you know? Why didn't we see the faces in that? They should have been visible on this layer. Oh, did they not animate in? Arg. Try that again one more time. Blender does not want to see my face. I don't blame it. I've actually been doing a lot of like six hour long streams, especially on Wednesdays, Delta. Uh, did anything in Anorak's Anorak's animation inspire anything for this? Uh, I had already storyboarded all of this before Anorak came out with that. There he is. There's the boy. Making a battle for Dream Island. I have no idea what that is, Glowshroom. Yeah, my Wednesday streams have mostly been six hours long the last few weeks. I stream how long I want to. Oh yeah, I'm doing that, Andrew. Don't worry. What is BFDI? Oh, Battle for Dream Island. Yeah, no, probably not, because I haven't heard of it. So, <laughs> unless it's a really big thing I haven't heard of, like Kanito was three days ago. Yeah, <laughs> face. Okay. Let's import each of those segments we just rendered. Did that not render correctly? Oh, 
Ah, I'm so annoyed. I had the compositor set. Oh, do I have compositor disabled? I do. Uh Okay, fine. Is it by this Jack and Jellify? All right, that's a pretty big audience, actually. That That's kind of worth making a song about, but it doesn't quite align with my usual vibe. All right, that's pretty huge. I will give you that. I will give you that. Um, I do not think it necessarily aligns with most of what I do. Unless it's like, does it have like an overlap with like digital horror creepypasta stuff? Okay, here we go. Cool. And here's where it's going to flicker in and out. What's up, Terrence? The floor. <laughs> there we go. And then it'll flicker back off. <laughs> I love it. It's so goofy. Uh, okay, these segments where... Yeah, I just need to match this with that. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we're going to try some dithering over the top of this, but honestly, I mostly like the look we've got. Uh, if anything, we'll, it'll be less dither and more um, like just palette limitation. We can try the dither. I've tried the dithering on a lot of stuff so far, and it doesn't always really... Like, maybe this will, maybe this will feel good. We'll see. Okay, now we need like a scary face to slide in from the side and be like, and you're to blame. And it's going to be my head like chopped in half, but largely censored because YouTube is, you know, you can't show brains. <laughs> we'll do the, the Jade jump scare, which in the, did anybody catch it in the other video? It's just the album cover for No More. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the name of the song? If you look at that point, it's, um... <laughs> it's just the album cover for No More <laughs> that slides in at that point. <laughs> it's... It's just this face. <laughs> what is this thumbnail?
So here we're going to zoom out into a window and the the screen is going to slide over to reveal that as the screen gets really messy. What do you call the black and white effect that was there? So this is your uh, I think you're asking about threshold probably. So if I drop a threshold on here, you'll see basically it says anything lighter than whatever number I pick, turn it white and anything darker, turn it black. And it's just creepy as hell. Especially like this. Like, ooh, man. Spicy. So much of good, like, um, just like digital horror and analog horror is obscuring as many details as you can so the brain fills in more horrifying ones, you know? That's the real key. That is the real key. Uh, Kirby Ad Cup. Uh, that isn't really planned. I don't know. Okay, we're going to have another segment of this. Um, where this... is part of this. And actually, no, I guess this shouldn't be this large of a screen. This should also still be the 853 by 480 resolution we're doing with everything else. And then slowly, this is actually going to zoom outward. Um, let's make a window for this to be. Let's just make a new... Um, We'll grab our command prompt window. I really do love checkered scrolling floors. They're very fun. Um, let's just make the title of this help me. And there's not actually going to be anything in here. Power Fresh should record Ollie for the British since we're someone point. I think it was I think Fresh pointed out that when I posted when I first posted the demo, uh, the let me in, let me out. Are you still having doubts? I thought I was your friend. I guess you were pretending. Oh well, like Fresh pointed out uh, that this just sounds like it's a cat <laughs> speaking. And you're absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Fresh. You rock. Uh, width is going to be 853 pixels. Height is going to be um, uh, 480 pixels. And I'm putting this in the wrong box. There we go. You're all doing a very good job of convincing me you're you're very grown up adult people. <laughs> These are well executed jokes. Okay, cool. Oh, I played the two green hill zones back to back. That's funny.
You're making a, these all see all animation? Oh, sweet, Randomosity. I can't wait to see what you make. Sounds awesome. I'm still so proud of this album. Okay, cool. I think that works. And this can just start scrolling, like scaling outward over the course of this. So we'll zoom out here. We'll go back to the desktop uh, that we had on the first page. I'll we'll start zooming us back out to that desktop window. <laughs> Someone put my face on Omega Flowey. Well done, Davey. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you like I know you can I can tell you clearly asked for the threshold effect so you could make that and I greatly appreciate it. That was wonderful, Davey. <laughs> Okay, so now we need uh, look to your other screen to look really creepy. Uh, so let's go back to our camera booth app. Photo booth, is that what it's called? Okay. This time I'm going to get the chair out of the background of me. We're going to turn on the lights a little more in here. So this, there we go. I just want my head like as much on this door background as I can. There we go. Okay. What's going on with my hair? Um, so, to your other screen, and you're to blame. I need to sing, and you're to blame. I need to be looking this way slightly, but still at the camera. Like this. Oh, I don't want a photo. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> and you're to blame. I was trying not to move my head as much as possible because we're going to lock the rest of my face. I don't know if anyone's seen like those weird core animations and stuff. Uh, which app? This is my show. I use so many different apps. This is After Effects. I also use Blender, Ableton. Um, this is going to be like this big. I like the second one I did better. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we're going to run Roto Brush on that again. 
<sighs> oh god. Okay. So goofy. Just aggressively goofy, and I love it. I actually do want my neck in this one, I think. Okay, now it's going to propagate out. As you get older, the older you get, the more Jack Nicholson you become. What, Sir Sarah? <laughs> Do you mean specifically me? The key to Jack Nicholson, it's all in the eyes, you know? <laughs> as long as you have your eyes wide open like this. And you just, you just say things. In kind of a gruff voice. I don't know if this is a good Jack Nicholson or not, but my eyes are wide open. <laughs> Okay, that's a good rotor brush there. That's pretty good. Good. Now what we're going to do, check this out. We're going to lock one of these in time. Uh, actually, this needs to get frozen is what we need to do. Now, one of these, yeah, you know, we're just going to like lock everything, but like from the nose up. And then we're going to blend that. Why does it seem like my... Oh, because I haven't actually locked this. Stupid. Uh, freeze frame. Boop. There we go. this mask working yeah how are you liking how are you liking the uvi stuff jake Why isn't this mask situation working? This is so weird and annoying. Like normally I just draw a mask and it works. Is it because this isn't pre-comped? That's why. Okay. I had to pre-comp it. Okay. That's easy then. Cool. Now here's what we're going to do. Wow, 
on fifth times the try. Fifth times the charm. Yes. And this. Okay, good, good, good. Now we're going to just feather the mask a little. There we go. That's uncanny. That's what I wanted. Uh, we're going to copy that mask onto the other one. Get it in roughly the same place. And just invert it. Perfect. Oh, but of course. Masking doesn't actually work. Until I pre-comp. Now. Good. And we just expand a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Love it. Creepy. Creepy as hell. Perfect. Good. Power fresh. Oh, there's something cursed in general media? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kerbo. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kerbo. <laughs> He's holding it threatening, like he's going to throw at you. My name's Kanito. If you know what's good for you, you'll shut the hell up. <laughs> he's just like casually tossing it around in his hand. That's what I say. This is going to come in from the left on your other screen. Uh, Oxica, I will announce it as soon as it's like actually close to releasing. The question is, how creepy can I get with this? I do kind of want to show most of the mouth, though. That's the problem. I agree, Victini. That would be awesome. Chat breaks sometimes. We got to go in a minute anyway. Uh, I have a phone call I have to get on with. Someone I'm producing a track for. It's really sick. No. <laughs> I hit I hit command S is what happens and is what happened and that is apparently stretched to screen in OBS. That's that's what happened there. Yep. Um Because my hand is constantly hitting uh, control S for safety's sake.
Yeah, that's creepy. I like this. Oh wait, it's actually way more high resolution than I wanted. I forgot this was quarter size. That's probably good. This is going to be a transform. It's going to slide over this way. Looks like it came out of a GPA camera. That's the highest praise I could get. Thank you. Wow, did the timing on that work that well? I didn't even time that. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, I want to lower the frame rate on this a bit. Let's get like uh, 16 FPS. Oh, it actually shouldn't maintain FPS like that. We can use posterized time to do that. This is After Effects player. Yeah, this is the look at your other monitor. Okay, so let's check out the segments we've got so far. Uh, and then we'll head out for the day. We got, I think, three good segments. And we learned a lot about what we're doing, which will speed up the next part of the process. <laughs> that's so good that's so good i'm so happy with that uh here is the chunk from uh the middle of the song that we did earlier <laughs> oh, and it actually goes right after there. So that goes into the section we just did. Um, and then we have earlier in the song, here's our initial segment. Here's our verse one part. Oh, hey, hello there. Give this a second to cash. This is, this is worth the wait. Okay, cool. That should be enough to catch up in time. Oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking me up. We'll be the best of friends. You know, we should... Let me, let me just place these text boxes where they need to go. Because we can... We, we already animated them and everything. I'll animate this later, but
Okay. Oh, hey, hello there. Thanks for waking. I think he needs to be technically on top of the other stuff. Oh, well. Here we go. Was it a temper? I mean, it was just the lyric video, and then this is the full music video, Axel Gamer. Cool. All right. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, I have to go now. Um, and uh, but, uh, but we'll be back here. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. We'll see. But we'll definitely stream at least on Friday. Cool. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out. I will see you all later. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, Teresa, let me, I got I to gotta get on a call with the guy I've been working with, and then we will meet. I will, I will DM you. Um, Let's let's plan for can we plan for tomorrow, Turk? Um I have Tori needs help with some stuff, but tomorrow, like right after work, we can. Okay. I will see y'all later. Bye bye. Have a wonderful day.